Welcome to Dazra. This is where the Varun live. They need me to do every little minor task of them. You do not understand. I saw a Nasco. Took measure of his burdens. What you are describing is a dream. Nothing more. Not a dream. A message from the Great Serpent himself. With all due respect to your craft, dear sister, now is not the time for incense and ash leaves. Or do you not see the depth of the crater before you? This guy is wearing joggers. Contrary, brother, I see it for what it truly is. And if we ignore this vision, Anesco will be lost to us forever. Enough with the proselytizing. The Vindicator has returned. Ah, were Tis you I. able to find Sahima? I believe so, yes. Here's some research for you. Perfect. I have no doubt Sahima's work is the key to stabilizing the morning device. If only the others had listened to her, we may not have lost so much of our great city. This leaves houses Dulkef and Vathol. Politics can wait. Every moment we delay, Anasco descends further into the void. For the last time, faith will not remove the barrier. Science will. It is the hubris of science that failed you in this moment. We reached out to the Great Serpent. This is his reply. You claim he has I wonder if she's like the main bad guy. I do no such thing. I think the main the bad guy is going to be religious. It's not an answer, but a question. Are we worthy of his grace? Until that is proven, your works will not succeed. Yeah, because they keep getting sabotaged. All right, let's see here. Succeed. I don't know if either of you are right. You're both right. We must have faith that our efforts will succeed, but that means nothing without science. Yeah, yeah a little bit of both. Play both sides. It sounds like you agree with me. And yet, only one is the foundation for the other. But the proof is not in our words. Is Politics is annoying enough without Anesco's adding religion. I couldn't imagine trying to be a politician world. in one of those um, our aid. theocracies. Yeah, fine. I feel like I've lived this argument a thousand times. And the only way to move past it is to concede to its nonsense. It's tough enough to do it in a democracy Vindicator, or even a dictatorship. Speak to my sister. Agree to her fool's errand so that we may continue. We the got work our first shatter of the evening. We've got Sidicus five by five. Alan, welcome, Sidicus five by five. Yeah, that, that clip you sent me, man, I haven't thought about that movie in years. <laughs> That's something that I used to watch with my dad. We always were watching westerns. Is the game good? Uh, I like it, but it's my kind of game. Yeah, you know, it's a space opera. It's it's underwhelming in a lot of ways, and it's disappointing. I was expecting a lot more, but most of that is the story and character interactions. And I thought the DLC would improve it, and it has in some ways. Like, like the map is better, right? For the DLC, this feels like a Skyrim thing because like all these points of interest are are interesting to where in the vanilla game not so much like even the planets with like a you know big city on it the surrounding areas are just like generic points of interest this one's got like places that are connected to stories and they're unique and all that which all the city should have had that but the dlc has disappointed me in quite a few ways one of the ways is there's no dlc ship parts so I can't make like a Varun ship with, you know, snake like features or snake skin or anything like that. I don't feel like there's enough cultural armor and stuff. And then the stories, the conversations, you're just like, holy shit, shut the flip up. It's so generic and so. Like you can see things coming a mile away. I mean, the voice acting's great. The voice actors are killing it. But it's the dialogue. It just feels like somebody was cranking out a script as fast as possible, you know, which is whatever. You get Mexican beans. I love beans. How much it costs? Twenty nine ninety nine plus tax. I feel like that's a good deal for a, a brand new DLC. I was totally expecting it to be like 40, 50 bucks. When I saw it was twenty nine ninety nine, I'm like, eh, all right, but that's I'll hook you up. But I also like Bethesda games and I'm an older gamer. Right, so 
The load screens don't bother me as much as maybe a younger gamer, but they still bother me because you have to load screen into load screens into load screens to travel. So it's very immersive breaking in that sense. I have seen visions of Anesco searching There's an for independent game called Starborn 2. Cost $20. And now that it you are does here, the transition from orbit accident, to planet way better than Providence. Starfield. You know? But Starfield can be a beautiful game. Like the, I've never seen textures better than the textures in Starfield. Like if you zoom up on the suits and the armors and the guns, they look real. It's really impressive. And they've done a lot in the last year to fix um, optimizations. Like, they've optimized a lot of crap. But, you know, they're cheating like everybody's cheating now with, like, DLSS and all that. Because that makes the game look worse. You're basically playing in lower quality when you use DLSS or any of that shit. And it's almost like it's becoming standard to be using DLSS. And it's like, no, that should be for older systems. It shouldn't be... Video game companies should not be designing their games to run on DLSS and all that stuff. That's something for Set the older computers. Speak when ready. All right. Much of our lives are governed by forces we do not understand. Well, that's true. Well put. The Great Serpent's works are imperceptible, even to heralds like myself. But rest assured, all will be revealed when you journey north. Yeah, I got a feeling she sabotaged the, the experiment. Crater, you will find or somebody a cave did. carved by the anomaly. There, you will make contact with a Nasco Varun. You sound certain that I'll find him there. Did you put him there? It is as the great serpent foretold. In my visions, I witnessed two futures. In the first, you breached the scaled citadel, but found Anasco had sunk too far into the void. And in time, all of Dazra was consumed along with him. Ominous if true, maybe that future is simply the serpent's will. It was not his will, but a warning. Oh. In the that sounds future, blasphemous for you to interpret his will. I saw you make contact with Anasco. Entering a cave through a formless wall. At its terminus was a gate, a path into the realm where our speaker resides. You stepped into this void, and in that moment, something changed. The false future rewritten. Uh, well, roughly speaking, it yes, I think she was looking in directly with the like a time space rip and. While my readings do not show any anomalous activity, I admit there's a lot of because we already know that Starborn Still, have spoken with their the potential you know, counterparts and given them I information about the future. Such an That's how we got grab drives. Chance, and that's it's one of those time present. paradoxes. All right, agree. It's not worth investigating. I would be able to speak to Anesco. What kind of danger? The closer one ventures to the heart of the anomaly, the closer they are to the phantoms and horrors that lie within. Moreover, if this cave was cut open by the calamity itself, then it is an unnatural formation and highly unstable. I wouldn't say it's unnatural. All right. You just need to have a little faith, brother. I am no heretic. I like his tattoo. It looks like a big so castle much, tower right there with crenellations and everything. It is a leap of faith. I cannot condone. What do you think, Sid? Do you think I'd look good with a tattoo like that? I will stand in your way, however, as Inaza has stood in ours. Better not stand in my way. You may not realize it now, Indicator dear of the Varun. But our goals are one and the same. You know, I should get some body paint and paint one of these tattoos on my forehead. All right. I'm going to this. All right, point me to the cave. Then you must embark to the northern edge of the crater. You will find an entrance there, one that has no form. Step through it, find Anasco, and complete the vision. Only then will his voice be heard. <laughs> okay, let's do that. The other side. Wee. Take me to the other side. Hello, man. A lot of work to be done, but it'll be done. 
You know, there are some chairs around here. I have seen them. This looks like a very uncomfortable spot. Where you, uh, I guess they're... This is kind of like a site of mourning for the catastrophe. Halls of Authority. Weep. There we go. That's way quicker. Weep. All right, man. Let's do some time space ripping. I see no cave. Alright, video game. It'd be a lot quicker if you just show me the final destination and I could just, uh, you know, fly there. What is that? I want to go look at that. That looks cool. We've already found what looked like an orphanage. Stuck in one of these time space bubbles. That's so cool, man. I do like the way that the uh, DLC Destroy looks. Them. It's very pretty. A bit laggy every now and again, but pretty. Weep. And can kick rocks, man. Now we've got time, space, demons, vortex shard. Enter in the arena. We've got Otto Vanu. Hail, welcome, Otto Vanu. Dang man, you stream early on my night shift. <laughs> All right, thanks, brother. Yeah, I might do a long stream too. It's Friday. Don't you worry. Plus, I got vods. I've got vods on YouTube and Twitch. <laughs> but I know it's better to have it live so you can do some chitty chat. All right, looking good, looking good. But have a good night at work, brother man. Ooh, what's this? The fabric is broken. The trespasser like this. Get him, Andresia. Get him. Give him the business. Boop. Take cover! Ooh, that was a boss. Uh, is that another goddamn... I don't know. That one's actually got something to it. What the hell was that? Is that a bug or a feature? Hard to say with this game.
All right, anomalous. Hey. Spooky, spooky. I like that you can see in these caves. Retrieve, you're waiting to follow her. Why is she waiting? No reason to be waiting. Oh, is that like contrived game story design? They want you to be alone, so you're just going to be alone. They're not going to give you a reason for it. Seems rather silly. Hello, Andresia. Saka. Wait a minute. They told me to go to this cave, I think. Yeah. There's my buddy. I think what she's starting to like us, though. All right. That is all. Now we Very should well. be good. What? Oh, this is bullshit. I mean... Not that I care about being alone, I'm actually more powerful alone than I am with a partner. Because, you know, they don't fight very well, they're kind of dumbs. And, uh, I get bonuses when I'm solo. Quite a bit of bonuses, too. Like, better armor protection, you do more damage. Oh. Eh, get away from me, foul demon. You have shards? What do you got on you? What do you got on you? Ooh, Ichor and shard. We'll collect all this. We don't know what we can make with it, but we'll be able to make something with it. Oh, this place is going to be a labyrinth. There's no markers. Looks like their bodies disappear. Oh, no, there it is. It's just hard to see. What do they look like? Oh, some kind of horror fine arachnid looking thing. <laughs> the guy we're looking for is chanting. So maybe we can follow his voice. Hear and see little glowing footsteps. Oh, that's so cool. Of course, when we get to the fork in the road, we can no longer see it, but I think it sounds like he's this way. Nice. Yeah, see, he's kind of out of unity, but like a shitty unity. Greetings, sir. You are a Nesco of Varun. Have you abandoned me, Great Serpent? Quite the opposite. Do you not hear my plea? Oh, that's who the Great Serpent is. The Great Serpent is the player. I had that theory back when you first heard about it and you were investigating like unity stuff and I hear you. You you understand me? Hear my voice. But I do not know you. I hesitate to ask. But what manner of being are you? Do you truly serve his will? The Great Serpent has given you to me. I serve no but myself. I do what I do for the good of humankind. We'll go with and that one. Now you stand here, a member of the promised. Almost sounds like it's the same voice actor him. that does my player voice. I have reached out so many times. For my character's voice. To hear nothing but echoes. Yet you, an outsider, 
hear me plain. And for the first time, I hear you. Clearly, your arrival here is fated. By stepping into this void, we are now linked. There is still reason to hope. The Great Serpent will see us through. But time is short. The bridge collapses. The gate is still open. The experiment still runs. Find me in the Scaled Citadel. I will wait for you there. This is not where I was going anyway. This seems like... Get away from me. Jesus. Nasty little creatures. <laughs> Optional, collapse the cave to seal the horrors. Okay. Me horrors, and they do a lot of damage, by the way. Ouch! Lots of damage. and nasty. Boom! Goes the dynamite. I gotta be careful though because I have an explosive shotgun if I get too close it'll one shot me. Which is always humorous but can be annoying. I should probably quick save too now I'm thinking about it. Can I push you out of my way? Absolutely not. Scared the shit out of me. It's like the xenomorph and aliens, man. All right, let's collapse this bad boy. Easy enough. You game tonight, Sid? Or are you doing other stuff? Gotta be other loot in here, right? Or lore. I'm always looking for lore. Escape the animal escape. Ops not the escape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't do a very good job with that one. I think I need to get a proper, uh, uh, what is it called, inflictor or something. I need to get the rifle version of the weapon I have. I mean, this shotgun's got pretty good range for how I fight. You know, I usually fight up close and short to medium range. It's pretty good. All right, we did it. We saved the universe once again. We are the main character. Hello, Andresia. You have my attention. That's good. All right, then. That's good. Dun, 
But you can see, man, this world is so cool. I wish, like, uh... Yeah, the new Atlantis planet and Aquila's planet was like this. We are also on the lookout for the Hero Groat book one. We've got book two and three, and so far it's probably my favorite books in the game. <laughs> Tells the story of a legendary groat that ate his way to freedom. None of that, none of that from you, madam. Ouch. It's very painful. What sucks is this gun's this gun has a broken aim down sight. When you aim down sight it it can shoot higher or low depending on the angle. It's really janky. Is this the orphanage or is this a new I think that's the praying area. What do we have here? We got that. And we need one more worship area, I believe. One more worship area. It's probably over here somewhere. We can buy a house. Let's go check that out. I wonder how much that costs. Maybe they give it to us, though. You never know when they give it to you. Man, that is a serious looking turret. What are my graphical settings? Display. I don't have dynamic resolution. Most things are high. V-Sync is off. 4X. Upscaling DLSS balanced. Sounds about right. Yeah. Should be good. What is that? What are you, device? Hello. Salutations. Salutations. This has to work. I have faith. Mm, so this is one of the devices that uh, caused this calamity? Is that what's going on here? Is this new? Was this here before? I don't know. It's hard to say. Boop. Because I know we've been right here before. Yeah. Boop. All right, we've got a goods exchange. Let's see if they'll trade with us. The armory will not, which makes no sense. I caused a huge argument on the Starfield Reddit because I posted a video of me making fun of the fact that we couldn't buy ammo here. Once we're the Vindicator of the Varun and we solved murders and stuff. Money is worth the same as everyone else's. What it's actually not true because you're a completely different faction. It wasn't much of a sales pitch. I do not waste people's time. Well. If you need my goods, you will buy them. If not, you will leave. I do not know what to make of your arrival here. You may have I feel like you're others, wasting my time, sir. You sure could have just said, I don't like fall. wasting people's time. You gotta... However, this is like uh, his third or fourth sentence. <laughs> I will trade with you. This DLC, but every NPC no is extremely verbose. Now, what do you want? Let's see what you have for sale. Your credits are worth the same as everyone's, I suppose. It shouldn't be. All right, what do you got here? Nothing special. That sucks. All right, let's buy some heavies. And then, do you have the rocket launcher ammo? The new rocket? No, he doesn't even have the new rocket launcher ammo. What kind of store is this? You're, you're not even selling Varun armor, you son of a biscuit. Got some digi-pigs. All right, at least we can sell here, though. That's the main thing. What's that? Extended mag... Ooh, that could be cool. Very expensive to use, but that could be cool. Long thing. I'm 
Mag snipers are pretty cool in like your first playthrough, man. But once you start leveling up, the only thing that makes sense are the particle weapons. Everything else just takes too long. Yeah, he's out of money. Perfect. Buying, selling. Is there anything I can do to earn your trust? Why not get another side quest? No. You will always be an outsider to me. Fair enough. Always. The last thing the city needs is to open the gates and let outsiders flood in. Outsiders with weapons, cruel, ulterior motives. That's a very odd opinion to have so for a traitor. You would think a traitor would want so as many people as possible. We should have found Especially new people who need other. stuff. This guy's a terrible salesperson. Are you concerned for your business? What with everything happening? I have no reason to be concerned. The Great Serpent is testing our faith, and my devotion has always been resolute. Myself and my business shall both be stronger at the end of this, as a product of our loyalty to the Great Serpent. You think the Great Serpent destroyed homes, families, as a test of faith? Doesn't that seem cruel? I will not dignify that nonsense with an answer. <laughs> Seems pretty cruel to me. Get to move on. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ooh, got his journal. Revenue is down once again. Yeah, maybe it's because you're not letting people in. Unsurprising given the state of the emergency. But the Great Serpent still provides to his faithful and has provided me the means to keep my head above water. The vagrants in the city frequently come by to pawn their items, most of which are stolen, uh, but I do not ask questions. When they inevitably default on their loan, I am able to resell the item for a good price. Yeah, most of the uber-religious are also, like, some of the most morally corrupt. They use religion as, like, a crutch to be, like, you know, to make up for their real-life uh, shortcomings. That's that's why I think super religious people will always creep me out. It's like, what are you trying to make up for? <laughs> Hello. If you require aid. Hunt on Irara, the halls of healing may be able to assist you. Progress on the device is welcome. It is yeah. good to feel that we so are. So that is a new structure. Difference. So if I didn't have a jetpack, how would I get over there? Hmm, I see. Scaffolding. Yes, this is new. Do you hear it? The great serpent speaks to you, guides you. Seems like there should be so many starborn starborn choices with this, like, because it's quite obvious, you know, that this is all connected. Do you seek counsel? You return. What news do you have of an ascot? Oh, he's waiting for us in the citadel, like we already knew. But you sent me on a side quest for no reason. Then my vision did not betray me. Well. It would seem I Maybe owe it helps. an apology, sister. There is no need, brother. Your skepticism only strengthens us. As you How's say, that? but to the matter at hand, did Anasco mention anything? We've got Jake the Great extraction? White entering the arena. Hail and welcome back, sir. Boop. Yep, DLC shattered space. Kill them all, raw. That rhymes. I like that. But no, no, no. We will not be killing them all. Not, the, not that the game would let us. This Bethesda game has the most 
handcuffs of any Bethesda game. You can't just willy-nilly execute folks. Even the ones you really want to execute, there's one mission in particular where these, like, corporate slugs give you a decision to either, like, enslave these people or to murder them or to kick them out. It's really horrific. And there's no good answer. And you can't even just murder them. You can't even murder them after the mission is over, which is unacceptable. Because vengeance will My be mine. Wears thin. Not as thin as mine, you verbose motherfucker. Don't you backtalk the Vindicator of the Varun. Currently Bakeman. But yeah, we're playing the DLC. How about you? Have you played the regular game? He said the gate is still open. Yes, the pinnacle of the Citadel was modified to house the equipment to... If it still runs, that would explain everything we have experienced since the initial incident. It is much more than that. Normally, when I pray for Anasco's return, I sense he's lost, fading. But when I last prayed to the Great Serpent, I felt Anasco's presence clear and distinct. Even as it receded, I felt him anchored to this world. That's one of the best breads. Yes. There are some sourdough bread with butter, slightly toasted. The great serpent. It's pretty good. A similar bond had been established. I believe the same is If I'm just eating straight bread with nothing on it, that's like a really good go to. I would need time to attempt a scientific explanation for why or how this happened, but for now, let us assume my sister is correct. I've never understood why. I agree. What we saw in that cave goes beyond science. And that is the essence of faith. I disagree. I do not know what lies ahead. My vision Religion always fills the gaps point. between the science, right? I do the only difference between science and magic is we just... In fact, when it comes I to magic, it's just science it. we don't understand yet. Agreed. And with this settled, we can now continue but the work of aligning the noble houses. I've never understood why they have to Together, be separated. We will find a way to complete the it's like you can still ourselves. believe in God and evolution. It's just evolution is God's tool, right? But who's to say? What are you up to, Jake? Uh, baked it myself this morning. Ooh, you're, are you into that? Are you like a bread maker now? That's a very hardcore hobby I've noticed with people that I watch Great serpent in podcasts. You in your endeavors. There's a comedian who got into sourdough baking, and then I think he made a podcast around that. Is sourdough your favorite bread? Like, if you're just going to eat bread with some butter. Serpent speed there was also this amazing time years ago that my family a lot of people in my family got into bread making you know they all bought bread makers and they got a bunch of recipes so they were making like pepperoni bread and all these just like anything you can think of they were making like desserts and savory and it's very good I probably gained like nine pounds that season but it's worth it all right what do we got here we've got assist house of the fall and then assist house Dulkef. Well, I like the son of a Thal better. Let's go that way. But, uh, but, uh, but. but yeah, this is the new capital of House Varun. Or not the new capital, the, their old capital, but uh, the new capital for the player. What is that? That looks pretty cool. Is that the cave of whatever the flip-flop? I want to check that out real quick. Whee! So happy to get potato bread with Thai. Yeah, I buy potato buns for hamburgers. Super good. It's very soft, you know, like that's it's super soft. That's a damn good choice, Sid. I wasn't even thinking about potato bread, but it's pretty amazing. I've been trying to cut down on my bread intake, but I did eat a really good breakfast sandwich today. <laughs> it's like a Cuban Excuse breakfast sandwich. I am tired today. Aren't we all, madam? Aren't we all? I've always been here. You have been spared for a reason. So do not be afraid. Be empowered and go forth with renewed faith. This, renewed This must strength. be where she hangs out, does her churchy all services. All must serve. All, all must serve. serve. Oh, this is cool. This is like, this is like Sunday Mass. Oh, I thought Andresia was talking to her for half a second there. That would have been cool. That's one thing they really messed up on is Andresia needs to have way more interactions than this. I'm going to do the DLC again. 
uh, with us being married to her. Maybe that'll add some combo. I don't know. What an honor it was to aid you on your path to become one of the promised. Can you pray with us? Of course. Hmm. Great servant. With All right, everybody, let's pray to the great servant. Scales as brilliant as shimmering stars. Inject us with your venom so that we may be emboldened to serve you. <laughs> Kill all our fears and Those doubts. Those are really good emotes. Show us that only through <laughs> oh, you can seven. true peace and contentedness be achieved. All must serve. All must serve. <laughs> all right. How do you think this calamity will impact the faith of the citizens? It would be a true shame if, in the face of adversity and tragedy, the people turn away from the Great Serpent. In times of crisis, that is where the Great Serpent shows I think shows in times of tragedy and crisis is when people he turn to religion more, to right? Community, you know, the whole there's no atheist in a foxhole. And, encourages us to find a newfound faith in him. I pray the people of Dazra see that it is not a time for fear or doubt. It is acceptable to grieve what we have lost, but we must not let that grief poison our minds. Mm -hmm. It is my hope that people will turn towards and not away from the Great Serpent. Through him, we can rebuild a better Dazra, forged in a blazing fire of faith and community. Why has no one else been converted in so long? Probably because they don't let anybody on their planet. A difficult question. The original converts were accepted in the years after House Faroon first made contact with the settled systems. Once the Serpent's Crusade began, there were fears that anyone from the outside could be spies, infiltrators. Yeah, I totally agree with that, Sid, and but I mean... the Crusade, few were eager to Usually join. in crisis, people on the fence about religion kind of turn to it more. Power. And then as people they age and have children, rejected contact like when you're younger leaders. and childless, religion, any at least for me, for just seems stupid. To find us. As I get there older, those I'm still not religious, but I can see the day, reasoning of it. And I think some people's brains just need it. Teachings. You know, they need it to fill the, the hole. And if we can survive our current situation... Because I have a hole, but I know that religion won't fill it. Now, might sway opinions on future now sex, contents. drugs, and rock and roll. Probably. Probably. What exactly does a Herald do? The High Council supports the Speaker on matters practical and political. Yeah, Herods deathbed like type stuff. Provide spiritual and philosophical guidance. My favorite was Benjamin Franklin. Together with the speaker, on his deathbed, he got the intent of the all the different religious leaders of the city to come pray to for him. Of house for so, you know, Catholic priests. And as time permits, um, I make myself available to the people of Dasra for this. What are the Jewish guidance. guys called? I exist to serve. I don't know. As do we But all. he got the Catholics, the Jewish, the Protestants. Maybe something else, but he got all of them to show up and pray for him. And to... <laughs> the hell are the Jewish uh, religious leaders called? I know this. I'm just having a boomer moment. Ah, uh, do you got the rocker hair? That is for sure. Sadly, I can't grow the rocker beard. Sad. It's very sad. Let the great serpent forever guide you. Will do, madam. Oh, I was kind of hoping you'd stay praying because I kind of want to do a thing. All right, let us pray. Let us pray. Andresia, join me in prayer, please. Andresia, please. Will I ever see my family again? Yep, right here. Right here, Andresia. Perfect. No, no. Over here. Over here. You please. have my attention. Right. She's not very good at taking selfies, that I'll admit. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do? This game has a really good photo mode, though, which I'm very happy with. Okay, let's do, 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 do expression. We will be afraid, amused, angry, apologetic, confused, depressed, disbelief, disgust, duck, dying, eyes closed. We'll do eyes closed. No, we'll do flirt. All right, let's do kneeling. Nice, nice, nice. All right, we're gonna have to brighten this area up. It's a little, a little dark, a little dark. Let's do some saturation. We... Uh, we're still not gonna get good. Uh, this is a problem. It's a shame these candles aren't lit. Yeah, it's gonna be a shitty picture, actually. Is there like a proper prayer kneeling? Sit on ground, sneak, wave, what's up? 
devotion, devotion, obedience, perseverance. Yeah, devotion's a good one. We've already got a selfie for that one. Looks like a World of Warcraft mage about to do something very damaging. Alright, we need better lighting though. Maybe we could do it with a filter. Hollow era. Oh, that's pretty good. The other crappy thing is there is no... There's no Varun frames, which is kind of weird. What would look best here? Yeah, no, that's going to look great, actually. Fuck it. Speaking of Benjamin, he preferred his mistresses to be older because the ass stay plump longer and they can't get pregnant. Yeah, he was a very smart man. But of course, they were still younger women to him. You know what I mean? So, like, most of his contemporaries, of course, would have been with younger women as they aged, but, uh, Ben Franklin. Plus, Ben Franklin spent a lot of time in France, and France was, you know, famous for their courtesans. So you've got women who are very intelligent, very funny. You know, they were once beautiful, and now they're probably handsome or whatever. And those are the ones you would, uh, have sexy son. time with. Agreed. What's your name? We have done our best to mm -hmm. allocate the necessary supplies for the device. Okay. <laughs> he was what the Gen Z's are calling Hagmaxers. Yeah, I just saw a video of Hagmaxing from um, Shoe on Head. Shoe on Head is like a really cute millennial. She used to date another big YouTuber you who kind of fell off. Out there. If you this do not need medical assistance, I suggest you move along. Is my top priority. But I, I think she married a New York guy and now she had a baby or something. The further you step away from the city, we will need someone qualified what to assist. But what about yourself? Are you not trained in the hell's arts? You I can use some else. medical Please supplies. Only purchase what you need. Yeah, yeah, I'll get right on that. So happy together. Ooh, she's got a crap ton of money. That is good. That is a lot of... Or no, that's a lot of... Leadline, Ablative, Headhunter. Those aren't bad bonuses, but this one's not the highest of physical resistances. This was my... I really like this armor, the Bounty Hunter armor. It's very cool. I need to, like, set up some armor, though, because I'm uh, getting one shot now. Which is no bueno. Franklin wrote an official letter about this topic. Yeah, it's. I think it's in his journal, too. I read his journal. It's very short, and it skips, like, huge swaths of life. He spends most of it complaining about his son. Him and his son had a falling out. Deflated? And it doesn't go into detail about super interesting parts of his life. My healers are exhausted. I just think he was doing it for him. even scared. The sad thing is, like, some of the greatest journals of history got burned by the family after the person died. There were, like, some supposed gray journals out there. And in doing so, that he If you'll excuse me, then. You see? All is not lost. My friend here may be just the person we need. You're a bit of a chatty oh, Cathy, sir. Your timing could not be better. Mm. We have a situation. It's an urgent matter. There's a spirit haunting the old orphanage. Oh, yeah, I've been there. A vortex phantom, to be clear. But be that as it may, we now have a headwind for your case. From what I've heard, do you have book one of the growth series? Quite famous for I'm missing it. With exactly your type I've of got problem. two and three. Is that so? You've handled these phantoms before? I used to shave my head all the time. I had a girlfriend, and uh, she really didn't like, because I would buzz my hair, you know, I'd give it like a one, you know, like a two or a three guard. She was like, you should grow it out. But, you know, I worked outside, you know, and it was Florida, so I, I liked having a buzz head during that time. 
And then years later, of course, way, way after we broke up and she was back living in another state, I grew my hair out. And then she made a post on one of my Facebook pictures or something. She's like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> She's like, I would have loved that. She's married now. You know, she's been married for like nine, ten years to a very nice man. All right, let's let Andreja answer this for us. She is going to be our, our heavy. Yes, but something about this feels strange. The phantoms we encountered were dangerous, hostile. But if I ever I go back know. to working outside, I'd shoot my head again. It didn't even look at me. It stood by itself near the window, but I only caught a glimpse of it from afar. Mm. She's caught between that dimensions the behavior and universes. Given what we know about these things. You don't know anything about these but things. I will let the Vindicator investigate and make their own conclusions. It is what we do. What can you tell me about this phantom? They are haunting the old orphanage. Heard that Until already. Recently was a refuge for lost children, but had closed down due to a lack of volunteers. In well, the we'll past have to few fix weeks, that. there have been rumors of people squatting there and using the building as housing. Given its history, it doesn't surprise me that a wayward soul would go back there if they sought to be found. Our well, that goes for their culture, soul? right? Surely we should not give such merciful I like the ones that bisect thing. the pupils. It's very it disconcerting. The and is a clear danger to anyone who may have been inside. I don't normally use a neck tattoo on my characters, or a tattoo in general, but I put one on me. It looks kind of cool. It looks like a turtleneck. What else can you tell me about the property? It was once an orphanage for young children Heard that already. their parents. The children were raised there and eventually guided into service by the Ministry of State. It was run by a handful of donors and local volunteers like the Ueda girl. But it closed down months ago. Earlier you spoke of an ill omen. Yes, the old orphanage is ill-fated. That much is certain. Even before the city was lost, no, they're not allowed to do stuff like that. The you can't take like real cultures there. and implement Instead, them into an alien culture in a video game because no, you'll get shit. Atlantic you'll get like political cursed. grief. So, for example, the Varun accent, which is weird because not all of them have the Varun accent, but they should all have it. If they're like recent converts, you can understand why they wouldn't, you know, they have an American accent or, you know, Western accent. So that that bothers me. <laughs> Unless for some reason those people grew up on another Varun planet that, you know, has an American accent. But anyway, so the Varun accent was created supposedly for the video game, you know. And Are then, you in shock? Yeah, sure. You seem to have lost the ability to speak. Uh, close to I'm get afraid to the I did not get close at all. The ground surrounding the orphanage And they need to hire a better artisan. There yeah, may be I don't other mind the tattoos. And perhaps even phantoms nearby. I kind of like the, uh... But my concern is for anyone who may know, have been modern design of their building. tattoos. The straight lines and bold old face lines some of the tattoos are like you know hershey syrup that you make chocolate milk is it's that color so sometimes they're they're black and then other times they're you know hershey brown which i think is kind of cool because color tattoos were super popular in my youth people were getting like neon colors and they look super, really good my brother got like a skull coming out of his arm and it glowed in the dark so when we went clubbing or something if you could see his arm it would glow but now all their tattoos look like shit. All my brother's tattoos look like shit. Especially the colored ones. They just fade like a mother. You have to get your tattoo redone like every, I don't know, five years or ten years to make it look good. I was at the halls of healing, praying for my family. The odd thing is, I did not know what I was praying for. There are some mods that changed the hairstyles, but I was worried it would gut. conflict with one of my other mods. But it had some abdomen. really cool looking hairstyles. Moments later, I heard the din of the crowd and rushed out, searching for my husband. I also want to get the spacer one, my but I think it, they wanted like five bucks safe. for it. I'm not paying five bucks for, for the orphanage. We must rid that the kind house of, stuff. of this phantom. Please, we should continue our dialogue. This phantom must great serpent protect us from evil. All right. Let's uh, go talk to that person. No, never ends. Is it urgent or can it wait? It almost can wait. Serve. Yep, almost serve. Or the Empire. You have to keep paying to redo them, so I got no tattoos. Well, I don't get them because I don't. For I me, just personally, I don't think they look good. Karu's killer. On behalf of House Dulkev, thank you. Hello, Vindicator. Malibor has kept me in It's like, have you ever found a new adult 
star that you really liked. Oh. And then a couple months later, they get some hideous the tattoos council. all over their body. I hope your presence here means things It's one of the most changed. depressing things that I lived through. There's a tattooed porn star. A heavily tattooed with ugly... And they always get ugly tattoos because they don't have a lot of money, right? So they just get these hideous tattoos. All right, we're making progress, but your help is a vital. Yes, of course. I'm pleased that the council is once again working towards a solution. It felt wrong not to help. Mm -hmm. Do you know where I was when it happened? The incident no, I called. No, I do not. I was in the temple next door conversing with my cousin. I was in the middle of replying to him about, um, you know, I don't even recall. Some meaningless bit of family drama, I'm sure. One moment he was there, and the next... But don't you gone. like the attention to detail that this my guy's cousin, older, so his tattoo's older and it's faded? Just gone. The younger people have darker tattoos? I found this game's got attention to detail. The scaled citadel. But then it's got comprehend. blaring holes and issues with the and stories. Now, here I stand, the elder of House Dulkev. For example, this DLC is Varun Center, and your favorite, or my favorite companion, well, it's close with her and Sarah, I guess. She's Varun. She's a Varun deep cover agent, and it's like, there's, she should be way more involved with this, but she's not, and it doesn't make sense. And it's going to make us getting married be even weirder because that's not going to make sense unless they revamp those conversations a little bit. But from what I hear, they have not. I'm sorry for your loss. My loss? Yes, I suppose. Yeah, I do too. Although, from I want everything to look cool. But if everything looked cool, then it'd be normal. Then you'd have to get even cooler trade. to look cool. Given my new role. That's the issue with relativity. Perhaps. Perspective. Even again. Anything to get ahead, right? Uh, that's a heartless way to talk about the loss of a relative. I'm sure your cousin would consider the ministry in safe hands. I appreciate the sentiment, but we shall never know. And you're talking to a main you character. I might bring him it. back. You never know. A single moment of pure, terrible silence. A meter's distance was all that separated me from whatever has become of Dazra. I find that through all the chaos and the scrambling since my mind drifts back to that moment, I could be gone as well. This guy's got one of those ASMR voices that want, spared. It wants and to put me to sleep. I do not know why. All right, other people are suffering. We can help them. Hopefully you can deliver them from this. But what comes after? Not my concern. What about the next trial? I'm sorry. Take it as it comes. I should show them. Don't my live own in the future. Live in the present. Force them upon you. I've grown so tired of the council squabbling. And, and every conversation is like this. Every goddamn no one of them. No this is the main quest line for the DLC, All though. Must serve. Yep. And House Dulkev is no exception. We could have cut right to the chase. Him. Everyone seems to want something out of this. You guys are quite greedy. The speaker has always been the guiding light of House Verun. In his absence, it is of no surprise that some would They find even say the same things within the same conversation. The dark. There's a lot of redundancies. What I can tell you. Sometime before our current calamity, Anesco Verun approached me looking for information about his grandfather's time. He was frustrated at the lack of progress. House Dulkev keeps extensive records, you see. While I was never told the exact reason behind the inquiry, I was able to deduce a fair amount. I provided him with the shipping manifests from the time of the Serpent's Crusade. Materials and equipment that... These assholes will attack the rest of the subtle systems, research. got their asses I told kicked, Anesco where those materials and then ran away and hid. When they've later, been a hermit well, nation ever since. You've seen the Citadel. You know as well as any where we are now. I think it's related. The timing is too close to be coincidence. Anasco returned from the site in unusually good spirits. He boasted of something called the Vortex Interlock. 
and that it was the key to this is also very much connected with the player when they become starborn in the unity of this interlock was swallowed and so there should be a lot more starborn answers to this i love starborn answers because they're like vague jedi type answers you know like somebody who knows a lot more than they're telling you but they can't tell you because it would make your brain explode so i suggest they should have leaned in on that to the southeast i believe it is more than it seems it is the only place to learn more about this vortex interlocks and what connection they may have to the events at the citadel and should your search be fruitful make sure it is known that house dulkev was proud to serve when called upon copy that mr dukev all right exhuming the past reach my little man all right, all right what do we have here what a terrible room to have a meeting in do you have an office, sir? What is this place? I took an elevator and it's just some random room with garbage. Hopefully he's got a cool terrace. Mm. Not as cool as we'd want it. Hey, we can take a nap though. That's nice. I hope you are sufficiently rested. Oh, yeah. Who knows what this day will bring? Oh, this might be a good selfie. Boop. Boop the move. Oh, yeah. Two lovers on an adventure. Did it? It's very, very rare to get her to pose as well. We want to do a close up on them. Boop, boop, boop. Boop. Oh, man. All right, let's do. Let's get a full body going. Oh, man. All right. Depth of field on. Let's do strength. Let's do near plane. Far start. Far plane. Okay, show character expression. We are going to be amused. Let's get close. We haven't really... He's got wonky eyes. Let's do flirtatious. Alright, works for me. Let's do... Andresia. Angry. She's always angry. Boggled, concentrating. Yeah, now we're talking happy. <laughs> I don't like happy. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Come on. This is good stuff. Oh, it's a shame her hands are all jinky. All right. Hands on hips. I can't pose her? Why can't I pose her? Oh, because she's probably locked in an anim animation. And it happens to saturate this a little bit. I like saturations. Lots of saturation. Let's do a little bit of that. Let's do some contrast. Uh, I don't think we need filters, do we? Those are good. No, that's shit. Let's do theme factions, branded. No Varun faction, which is quite sad. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Perfect. All right, moving on, moving on. I really need to start watching some videos on like uh, photography theory and in-game photography theory. So that would be fun. We've got a Groat, ooh, people at the Groat Farm. Do you have a side quest for me, Alicia? I can't wait to get those spices you brought me into yeah. a stew. Look at those serious the eyebrows. Can be long for a farmer. 
but there is nothing I'd rather. Oh, you might not know it to look at them, but groves are excellent climbers. Mm. They try to get up to high places so they can see their surroundings. Me too. That includes the tops of crates and buildings, by the way. Any other interesting facts about groats? Oh, newborn groats are very steady and sure-footed compared to other animals. They can walk and run with perfect balance, only hours after being born. We're going to continue with this conversation line. <laughs> oh, groats have a much wider field of view than we do. Mm, they're they're not animals. easy to sneak up on, as I learned when I was a child. That was the same day that I also learned that they have a powerful hind kick. Quite dangerous. Oh, groats have a much wider field of view than we do. They're not easy. That was we heard the same that one, Alicia. That I... Good day, Visit madam. Anytime. Will do. Whee. That dome was gold, and now it's white. See, that one's gold. I get close. Oh, uh, yeah. That's weird. So it's gold when you're far away, and then when the lods load in, it turns white. It's interesting. I think it'd be the other way around. I don't know. Would a gold color absorb more heat than white? Yeah, I guess it would. It's darker, right? <laughs> A lot of damage. Man, Andreja is a terrible shot with that thing. I'm hit. You'll be alright. What is going on over there? Probably some phantoms fighting animals. That's cool that we're getting these uh, vortex spawns coming at us. You're gonna take more than that. They always have shards too, which is kind of nice. Whoop. So the phantoms are attacking whatever this place is. Eh, they're attacking me now too. Why are you attacking me? I was saving lives over here. supposed to turn off that friendly fire bullshit because your companions get hit with your AOE effect when you use particle weapons super annoying sometimes they attack you if they're like half a companion are you nice you are peaceful nice can I pick your thing without killing you no, I can't pick as the Maline Dam looks very dried up. Don't know if that's because of the catastrophe or if it was already kind of aborted. Open says me. Dun, dun. Find out how to get access to the dam. Okay. Hello, person. That is a child. You can't get in there. 
Yeah, not unless you have a card. All right, this is not a safe place for you, brother. It's fine. It was built extra strong, and the railings are all sturdy. There aren't any sharp edges. Yeah, he was supposed to be upstairs. So you're trying to get in there? Mm. You're not the first person to come here recently, you know? Anasco Varun himself was here. I saw him, but he didn't talk to me. Yeah, and there he can't were too hear many other people around him. Or they, see you. They all looked really serious. I want to help him, actually. I heard he disappeared. Is that true? I never saw him come back out of the dam. But We've I did got see them Fuely go in. Dan back they in the arena. Hail him. Welcome back, door. Fuely Dan. How you doing, brother? I found one after you gotten good left? at video games I yet? No, I'm terrible at video didn't games. Want to get in trouble. I mean, I'm still way better than you, of course, because we so all know you're pretty bad and terrible. Maybe he'll let you have it. <laughs> How you doing? Doing pretty well, man. Uh, came back to streaming like a week and change ago. Uh, doing Starfield DLC. I know Starfield was underwhelming and a bit disappointing, but I still enjoyed it. I put a couple hundred hours into the vanilla game. There was there was enough good stuff to where it could uh, hold my attention for sure. And you know me, I love space and exploration, space combat, and all that. We were just expecting more, and we didn't get more. But maybe we're being greedy. I don't know. I didn't mind it. It wasn't the big splash we thought. Yeah, that was underwhelming is the word, right? Like it had, it could have been something. And then the time and money they put into it, it should have been something. Did you forget what you were going to say? But okay. like I played Fallout Good 4 luck. after playing Starfield for a little while. And it was so refreshing. Like the story, the characters. And Fallout 4 was regarded as one of the less good Fallouts. But I think it's, I think it might be my favorite now. But like when you met your companions, you wanted to know everything about them. They were so interesting and you were emotionally invested in them. And I don't feel like Starfield did that very well. And there's so many interesting quests in Fallout 4. So basically, if you play Fallout 4 right after Starfield, it makes the weaknesses of Starfield even more blatant. All right, well, let's go get a key card. And 12 months on, this DLC seems another letdown. It's better than vanilla in a lot of ways. Like it, the map, for example, like, you know how New Atlantis and Aquila City was just like a little hub. And then outside of that hub was the generic points of interest. This area feels like a Bethesda game, you know, like Skyrim, like all these POIs are interesting and unique and connected to interesting and unique missions. Um, and that, of course, is the weakest thing I think of Starfield is the stories, the conversations, the interactions. Everything feels like wet oatmeal. Nothing feels like evil isn't that evil. The good aren't that great. The big reveals aren't that big of a reveal. Again, it might just be because, you know, we're adult gamers and we've been playing a long time so we can see the, the foreshadowing. I don't know, man. It's just a little, little wasted potential. Yeah. Did another run through Cyberpunk. I still haven't played Cyberpunk. I, I played like an hour and a half once, and then a year or two later, I played like another hour and a half once. Something about Cyber Cyberpunk gives me like an, uh, a headache behind my eyes. It's hard to get back into Starfield. It feels twenty. It it feels like it came out in two thousand and eight. To me, Starfield feels like Fallout. Remember how Fallout Three was groundbreaking and it was amazing, and the world was so big compared to what we had before, and everything was in three D. To me, Starfield could have been made in two thousand and eight. It would have been smaller, but like the load screen into the load screen, the little dog fighting mechanic. But there are good things like the the shipbuilding is amazing and the other sad thing is is outposts are cool but they're useless <laughs> there's no reason to have an outpost and it's like they can become you can have like a very complicated outpost system with manufacturing and logistics which is so cool but there's no reason to do any of it and you know how gamers we're we're going to follow the path of least resistance because that's human nature so like I've I built like a couple lev nests and that's about it. I decorated my apartment one time and then like after the 
Terror Morph mission, all my shit got deleted. So it's like I've never decorated an apartment after that. Could you imagine how bad this would have been without the map? Lol, remember they didn't ha Yeah, I know. The, the old local map was just like a blue plane with dots on it. It was nothing. I love these local maps, though. How cool are these local maps? You know, they're basically like satellite, 3D satellite imaging. So good. But we didn't get this until a couple months ago, I think, right? I haven't played much since they uh, fixed a lot of things. I'm also not a big fan of all the paid mods. I like mod creators getting some money, though, so I don't mind it that much. But they're literally charging like five bucks for a reskin. That's just like not even a redesign or like a cool design. It's just like a different color. I can do that in two seconds on paint.net. That bothers me. Cyberpunk makes no sense. Future tech and no giant boobs. I thought Cyberpunk had a boob and 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 schlong slider. Doesn't it? Gotta have booby cannons. You know people would make their penises and boobs weapons. Well, of course. <laughs> yeah, that was a huge grab of mine. You build these star bases across the galaxy to do mass production and you have to do manually haul, sell. Yeah, and then also the the insanity of how small the containers were. Like, you got these big containers, but they can only hold, like, enough product that you could literally hold in your arms. Like, well, <laughs> a lot of the numbers don't make sense. Because we know how Bethesda, Bethesda never has balanced off of logic. They balance off pure gameplay. They always put artificial time limits and constraints on the player. But then the ironic thing about that is there's always, like, exploits to where you can just totally break the game. You know, become super overpowered. Because I've, I've only had one character, you know. I've had the same character the whole time, and he's only level 167. But I haven't done any uh, XP farming, which you could totally max out your character and, you know, like one playthrough if you do that. And also the merchants had way too few credits. I fixed a lot of that annoyance stuff with mods, though. Like, Always I fixed containers, I fixed the uh, credit thing. Can I take a nap here? Let's take a nap. The sliders are weak as Good. F. You're awake. There's got to be a mod He's to fix the sliders, nice though, right? Make them what you I want. Wait. Why do you have an attitude all of a sudden? I thought we were becoming close. It is not easy seeing the citadel like this. Another day, another mouthful of See, this guy has got the accent. May the great serpent bless us. He's also got a skin condition. I understand you have an access card for the dam. I need that. No offense, but it's not your property. I am the Vindicator of the, the Varun. The ownership of the card is far less important than its use. Thank you, Andrea. Be that as it may, I feel it should be turned over to the proper authorities. Have you been overall, Dan? What have you been gaming on? Have you found any new and interesting diamonds in the rough that we may or may not know about? Are you guys watching the penguins? Very good. Fun fact, the sliders in the new Dragon Age game is max boob size A cup and ass mac. Really? Max size A cup? Are you being hyperbolic or is that fact? But you can have surgery scars. You can have surgery scars. Can you have like boob surgery scars? Like the the ones around the nips or the ones below the booba? <laughs> Alright, and Drage is going to say almost serve. And right now that is you that has to serve. You know that all must serve, Kavil. Right now, handing over that game. I love having a strong female partner. That is best serve the mm. great serpent. I only wish to serve. I swear. Nope, just bouncing around games, man. Right, Waiting for bro. Dragon Age, and I Here. might go check out Diablo 4. Yeah, it's on sale, Diablo 4. I don't know about the expansion, but Diablo 4 is. I had to give up on Star Citizen. I don't know if you watch me play that too much, but holy shit, I'm over that game until they fix literally everything. All right, let's ask you, do you like it here? I am not sure I have liked anywhere, to be honest. Yeah, I'm getting... The work is getting that energy not from you. Taxing, and Gamera lets me get away with less than others might. I could do worse. The aches and pains of old age would follow me no matter where I go. And if I could just get a good night's sleep, trying to say this guy's I would old. find all this quite acceptable. He looks like he's 45 with eczema. You're not sleeping well, question mark. Goodness, no. Not a decent night's sleep in years. At least that I can recall. No, it's not a scam citizen. It's store citizen for first, sure. But it's but just mismanaged. Time, I find my dreams drift like, towards damn near criminally mismanaged. 
Dark. The product of an anxious mind with too many years. Think nothing of it. Tell me about these dreams of yours. Why would you care about the meaningless dreams? Because I'm looking for interesting me. lore and funny conversations. Dreams can often be a key to understanding something about ourselves we otherwise wouldn't. I suppose you are right. <laughs> there is a recurring dream where you saw I a house to buy the new ship, Ro? No. I am forced to I have one ship in Star Citizen. Well, technically, I have two. They gave me a uh, snub fighter. Somewhere. For recruiting people. But recently, the dreams meant, have become. It was meant to be the chosen game, but violent. sadly, they let a uh, scope creep run them. Yeah, they they're them completely run now. He like not wronged me in any way. But all I they're producing on a regular basis are new ships worse, that don't even do what they're supposed I to do it. and have fresh new now, bugs every night I see that they sell for hundreds of dollars. That's all they're doing. And I know that he they've been promising a new hands. system for years. It never comes. Squadron 42 should have came out five years that. ago, which is, you know, the single player version of Star Citizen. In comparison to some, it's cri criminally criminal. mismanaged. I think what's going to happen is because I've noticed back, that the White Knights, so the Zealots, are finally getting salty. Services, they accepted, so once they stop are. buying ships, I suspect, given my age, uh, CIG my is going to have to downsize. Here. At least until the Great Serpent And then in another ten years, when people are really giving up, they'll either sell it to somebody else who will just put it out in whatever you know version it is. Or they won't put out anything. I think that we'll definitely get Squadron 42 at some point. But I think Squadron 42 is going to be kind of a bomb because sci-fi dogfighting games have never been that successful other than like maybe some of the Star Wars, like the, you know, Rogue Squadrons and all those type of games. Back in the day, like we're talking like the 90s and the early aughts, you had, you know, like the Wing Commanders and, um, and those games, but they were very basic. And then that's what Star Citizen was supposed to be. It was just supposed to be like a modern wing commander, you know, with updated graphics and stuff, which they should have put out and right. sold. But they were like, hey, we're making hundreds of millions of dollars just selling these fucking ships on a damn game that doesn't work. Like they they make things more monotonous. Like now they've they've the, the big patch for the last couple months is cargo. So now instead of cargo being loaded and unloaded from your ship automatically, you have to manually load it. So you have to go there with a the tractor beam and zip all these boxes that are like hundreds of square or cubic meters of stuff and zip them to your ship. It's super buggy. It bounces around, does weird shit. Then they slowed down your tractor beam to where it was tedious to use. Introduced a vehicle, which kind of looked like the aliens loader, but it was just it had a better tractor beam on it. And then charged forty dollars for that vehicle. <laughs> That's just nothing but the tractor beam they stole from us. And then now they've introduced master modes that made ships painfully slow to dogfight in, and it more complicated, which Star Citizen does not need more complications at all. And then slowed it down even more after people complained that it was slow. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck, Star Citizen? What are you doing, man? This is. I want to be in those meeting rooms. It's like, is there an adult in this room or is it just a bunch of people high on fucking keyboard cleaner? What is happening? Whee! If you're here for a meal, hope you like seaweed. For a meal, huh? Dude, you need to go to the orphanage. Can I get well, you to an orphanage? This is all going to be mine someday. Oh no, you got a dad. All right, nice. I guess it's the only place I've ever lived. Father says we have to make do with what the Great Serpent provides, so we do. Mm. Yeah, I bought that last uh, Star Wars dogfighting game. I got through like, I don't know, half a dozen missions and kind of got bored of it. What are you doing here, kid? Not much. Just looking around, mostly. It was fun, though. I used to try and find scrap to sell, but I don't think It was think probably a lot more fun when point. multiplayer was a thing. I like the view, too, and it's nice to just... Get away from the farms sometimes. It is a nice view. I agree, sir. Are you sure it's safe to be wandering around here? There are like... Because if I wander 100 meters, I get attacked by like half a dozen phantoms with, you know, laser bazookas. You don't have a problem with that? Or like the giant arachnid looking monsters? No problem there? Father says the Great Serpent watches over us all the time. <laughs> I'm not worried. Guess the Great Besides, Serpent doesn't protect the main character. No one ever comes around here anymore anyways. Yeah, he's immune to such follies. 
Just like everything good happens to the main character, everything bad happens to the main character. So he's taking the heat off of the NPCs. All right, kid, stay safe. Open says me. I did see a cool game being played by Dan's Gaming, OG streamer. It was like a remake. But it was like a real remake, because you know how most times when they do the remake, it's a remaster, meaning that they just change some graphical settings, attempt to fix bugs that they don't fix, add more bugs, and then release it for $59.99. This game actually was a remake. Like, it looks really cool. It's a 2015 game with some superb voice actors in it. Like, you know that TV show Mr. Robot? Like, that main actor? Who's really good? He's like one of the characters in it. I was thinking about getting it, but they wanted sixty or fifty nine dollars. So I was like, okay, wish list that. But it would have been a good October war game to play. Boom, boom, At first boom. glance, it seems we are the only ones to come through here in some time. Yeah, it looks that way. Or is inaccessible. Wee. Why you don't realize is the kid is the Great Serpent. My theory is we're the Great Serpent. And we're in stuck in one of those time paradoxes. Because we're starborn, right? We're basically demigods or gods or whatever. That's the other my other complaint about this DLC is there's not enough starborn uh, reactions. Because to me, what's going on with this DLC is the Varun... We're trying to kind of get to the unity with our own technology, not using the uh, artifacts and the precursor technology. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. That is quite corrosive. Looks like there's a hole down there, though. Okay. Probably got to hit a button or something. Oh. Alright, we want to go that way, but the game doesn't want us to go that way. I feel like I should be able to hit a button here, but no button there. Alright, can I push that on my way? Nope. Things I would do if I had power like that. Oh, stick with me, baby. You'll get all the power you can handle. Literally. And figuratively. All right, let's find whatever button we have to smash. Elevator broken. All right. No indications that there is anyone else around, but we should still be cautious. I feel like we've got to crank up the generator or something. So it looks like we should be able to go that way, but no. This is where we came in, I believe, correct? Yes. That doesn't work. Alright, well, let's explore the turbine area. It's got to be in that scuzzy water somewhere. That was another big complaint is the fact that none of your companions are all that evil. You have to use those like half companions. But then when you accidentally hit them with one of your AOE weapons, they turn uh, aggressive. Which I don't believe is by design, but who knows. Were those little handprints? No. So their dam is made on top of corrosive liquid of some kind. 
Just like the Varun to have. There must have. be some mechanism for draining the floodwaters. Yeah, probably. One thing they did really well are the doors. The doors are so good. <laughs> Every door has like mechanisms that make sense. And facial animations, not so much, but doors, they nailed that. All right, critical fault and grid DC. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's fix that. That's a new weapon. It's garbage, but it's new. Oof. Eh. These aren't bad bonuses, but this weapon is shit. Worth the effort. All right, let's go flip a button somewhere. Fluctuations detected. Rerouting to compensate. Drainage pump control bypassed. Seems like we could have done something else there. And not just blew the thing up. The dam seems like it'd be very useful to Dazra. No lower here, huh? All right, dishes are done with that one. Modulation installation. All right, so this is their modulator. It's very dangerous. They're warning all the workers about the installation, which I'm sure will come into play shortly. Hello. You are not welcome here. Well, you will leave immediately. I like her armor. It kind of looks like this Mass Effect armor. Is your only warning. This is the first time one of the Phantoms warned us. I don't respond to well, so threats. I'm looking for information. Who are you? I guard these halls with my brothers and sisters until the shrouding. None are allowed here, including you. Can't you see that I'm starborn? Is that, that something you can see in your weird time-space prison thing? I'm looking for information. I do not care what you think you need. Yep. Jinan Baron himself charged us with the protection of this facility. It was his last order, and it will be carried out. Mm hmm What are you talking about? Jinan Varun died decades ago. And yet, his orders were clear. That he has passed on does not matter. Copy that. The work done here must be safeguarded, protected, never permitted to leave. None but the speaker may decide otherwise. And you are not the speaker. Not yet, but I am the Vindicator. Does that help? Oh, see, that was like a somebody I wanted to talk to for a little while. 
Expedition log one. Always worth checking. I Never agree. Know. I agree. Mm -hmm. Michaelized journal revenues done. Oh, yeah, that guy. Speaker, please do not get too close. Do not fear. What they you might find in their pockets. You do, yes? I can see it. You know me. I am a Nasco Varun. Speaker for the Great Serpent. Yes, Speaker. Be known. Be served. That's a badass we weapon. It's a and shame it doesn't connected. have bonuses. Are you all that remain of this place? Jinan Varun himself made us guard these halls for all time. Others left. They remain. Very well. You, get to work. Yes, of course, sir. At once. You heard the speaker. Every terminal, every death. You were warned. You did not listen. Yeah, I'm really bad about that, actually. You're lucky I even listened to the entire conversation. Ah, uh, there's too much at stake for me to walk away. I don't want trouble. There must be some way we can talk this out. Can I sweet talk you? I'm quite flirtatious. Silver tongued devil, they call me. There is not. Yeah, that's what I figured. The speaker's That'd be too fun. will be carried out. Mm. You must die. All right, let's do this, madam. E. Feels like a boss fight. We'll use our super OP ability. Hello. What kind of weapon do you have? Get her in, Trajan. Hey, stop it. Oh, she's got that weapon. That weapon is nasty. <laughs> Talk about a bullet sponge. Quite the sponge. Oh, that was bullshit. No loot. Fuck you, game. Ooh, what do we have here? Garbage. 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 Open sesame. Nope, that one's broken. should exercise caution. Things in here may not react well. <laughs> All right, moving project, large efforts. Eh, high council's already been approved. Eh, efforts. Continue. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. It's crucial group to wattage. Exercise. Low power or restricted mode. Okay. During these periods, most... You kind of have to pay attention to this because there was like one mission that, you know, remember Entangled, Dan? That was a cool mission, right? That was like one of the coolest missions Bethesda's probably created. But, you know, the first time I played it, I think I saved, you know, the the uh, the lab, you know, with all the people in it. And then the second time I was going to save the one guy just to see what the difference is. But then I figured out that you could save everybody. You just had to like uh, find a bunch of lore items that kind of explain how to do it. All right, we're probably gonna have to remember that, but we're not gonna remember that. Bullets. Hopefully, our character will remember that. All right, we gotta switch a button and a button. All right, one button, two button. Activate. Yeah, I didn't do anything. Let's try that again. Boop, boop, boop. All right, so two, three, five. Let's try two, three, five. All right, two, three, five. Nope. Two, two, one, one, two, four. Let's try two, two, one, two. 
So that's gonna be annoying. Two, two, one. Nope, not two, two, one. Let's try one, two, four. Interesting. All right, we'll figure that puzzle out. I've been waiting for a little while some fire to hit Bannerlord, but he's taken. No, I don't. To be honest with you, you know, like I'm involved with that community. I've been AFK from them for a while now, but he's been working on his own game for the last six going on seven years called Space Log, which is like a top down FTL type of game. So he hasn't worked on Bannerlord at all, and I don't think he's going to in the foreseeable future. Because I think if Space Log is a success, he'll just continue with that. And then if Space Log is a failure, I don't think he'll be motivated to do anything else. And he'll probably just go back to his, like, tech job or whatever. Because, like, he updates a World of Ice and Fire every now and again, but they're kind of, like, small whatever type updates. Or what this... There's this one guy who kind of, like, pays for a lot of updates. So he'll do those, but... Have you tried Realm of Thrones? They've got flying dragons if you cheat them in, and then they have ground dragons if you do these two different quests. All right, let's try this again. During these periods, the value must be increased by 100 to compensate. High power mode. Subject key card. We want a key card, two, three, five. All right, so we got to get power up to 100 somehow. So we definitely want 235. Just got to figure out how to get power up. Complete the teleportation experiment. Okay. What did you say, computer? The brilliant, blah, blah, blah. Achieve new milestone. Work begins. Bring glory to house rune. Deliver victory. All right, so this is this is a long time ago because currently I think it's 2330 and this is 2254.5.28. So this is during the Serpent's Crusade era where they got their asses kicked. All right, computer. You're not letting me adjust power, though, are you? The current goal of moving large objects has repeatedly proven too difficult. Properly controlling the wattage has been impossible. Efforts. Attempt to transfer a key card. This is stored data retained after the process or lost. It's crucial to do one to the next phase. Exercise particular caution when the hydroelectrics are in low power or restricted mode. During these periods, the value must be increased by 100 to compensate. Okay, so 235 should be 325. Is that what you're trying to say? Let's try 325 or 335. Nice. Key card. Copy that. Figured it out. Without Googling Gen Z and your Google. Every time I watch gamers nowadays, like as soon as they run into anything that even hints at a puzzle, right to Google. Every damn time. Every damn time. I get it, man. But back in the day, they had fucking mysteries out. I still am pissed off to this day about. All right. So I get it. I understand it, but... And if you don't have time, like if you're a dad or something, you're a busy guy, I get it. Move on through, move on through. Yeah, I played with a few of them, but he had the formula on the lock and warband, so it was hopeful. Well, I think he did well, you know, World of Ice and Fire was like possibly the number one mod for downloads and stuff. 
It was my favorite mod. And he made a little bit of money with it with PayPal and, you know, people would buy assets. So World of Ice and Fire's got amazing assets. They look like shit, though, in, the, in Warband because they were kind of designed for Bannerlord. But I just think that he wants to be a successful game developer and you're not going to really get that as a modder. So that's why he's doing space log and he's really trying to get space log, you know, going, I'll buy it. It's not my type of game, but I'll buy it. <laughs> and I hope it's a success, but I just, I can kind of tell with the way things are going with the war band of world of ice and fire. And you know what I'm seeing on discord, I just don't think we're going to get a world of ice and fire banner Lord, you know, what it would take is a lot of fans to become developers and help with it and do most of the work. That's what it would take. But Realm of Thrones is pretty good. The problem with the uh, full conversion mods right now is they're basically reskins and they're not adding any like political stuff. Like you remember how in Warband there were so many cool full conversion mods that added like quality of life, political intrigue and all that it wasn't just like added assets and the looks of your army that's what i'm looking for you know because bandalord its political stuff is as shitty as warbands was and it needs some of that like crusader king stuff like i want to have babies with barmaids and then i want bastards that'll you know cause uprisings and rebellions for my trueborn i want all that shit man i want a reason to care about the lords and ladies of the realm and not just my relationship with a clan that would be awesome but realm of thrones is beautiful like its assets are gorgeous the dragons work surprisingly well for a game that was not designed for flying dragons he hasn't fully implemented them yet so the only way to get the flying variant is with cheats but you can get grounded ones that blow fire uh, by defeating denarius and doing a mission over in essos in one of the cities it's a very difficult mission bring one one with you and some other guys I think you can get a gold dragon doing that. And then you can get Drogon from Daenerys, but she'll hate you. But that's fine, too. What language does Bannerlord Modern require? I don't know. I haven't looked into it. I'm a tester and motivational speaker. That's my development title. <laughs> and I uh, moderate their Discord. Get you some bastards. Wrong. Yeah, man. But I want all that stuff, man. But I remember when I first started playing Warband in like uh, late 2014, or early 2015, I wanted to play a Clash of Kings, but my laptop, it ran at like 30 frames per second and battles were like you two. You think you would be rid of me so easily? The arrogance. Mm. It would seem this will be more challenging than we anticipated. We can handle it. The work done here has tied I us to this place you. for all time. That is why we have agreed to go. Oh my fucking god. That's the other problem with the DLC is it keeps crashing. We did pretty well there. We went almost two hours. I think my record was over three hours. That's why I'm quick saving. Usually I don't quick save. I hope they fix that. The first day was really bad because of course the... Uh, the creations was broken, so you couldn't you couldn't uninstall the mods that you know would be broken, you know, because it's a new patch, new DLC. So you wanted to uninstall mods, but you couldn't because like if you're not connected to their servers, you can't do anything with your mods. What kind of bullshit is that in a single player game? I can't remove mods. What the fuck kind of logic is that? Yeah. I hate this creations thing. I like the idea of it, but it's garbage. That's us praying to the serpent god. Woo! And I do love the in-game photo mode. It's very good. I don't really do a lot of photo mode in video games, but when I do, I enjoy it. I like it in this game because they put it in the uh, load screens. And as we all know, this is a bit of a load screen a simulator. You think you would be rid of me so easily? Heard that. Seem this will be more. Heard that. The work done here. Heard that. Sister, Ooh. have you not finished this game? Sisters. I'm into you that. Words Let's see if we can flirt them, defeat them with love this and compassion. No place for you. It would also seem that I spoke too soon. Mm. The outcome has not changed, Bedrasa. We are still in control here. 
I'm not going to stop until I get answers. Please, you must let me pass. I don't suppose we can skip the fighting this time. Your resistance does not change my orders. Mm -hmm. They will be followed. Do you even understand why you are here? Yep. Do you? What it is you are looking for? That I this don't know. seems a fool's errand. I'm looking for something called a Vortex Interlock. I need to know what an escode came for. There must be something here that can save House Varun. Maybe you could give me a hint? Your sense of humor will not save you. You don't find that attractive at all? You in my fleshy soft you bits? Because you look very cold and... Overpoweredness. Engage. I'm so overpowered I killed myself. <laughs> that fucking shotgun. I gotta go back to the other one. It does more base damage anyway, I think. <laughs> I blew it. You think you can see this with the work done? Sister, you should have. It would also seem the outcome. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. let's go that. Your resistance. Do you even understand? Let's try saving house for room. Do you care about that? Jinan Varun believed the same, at least in the beginning. I'm trying, said again. I'm trying. The, the game is binding my hands and my penis. Ah, uh, can't shoot me. I'm super fast. Man, she's got a shit ton of HP, though. This weapon does a tremendous amount of damage. I had to reload. What the hell? All right, we'll take care of that one. Let's grab the sister. The less attractive one, probably. There's always a less attractive one. But that's all right. That's all right. It's all about personality. At least that's what we tell them. And they're not dropping loot, so we'll have to face them again, probably. Supervisor update. The most gracious and grand speaker, Janan Varun, continues to place his trust in this facility and this team. Have you handled her? Uh, victory of the Brutes, so called settled systems. Yep, yep. Application of the fascinating aborts. So they've been working on this stuff since the Serpent's Crusade. It's not like a recent experiment. Interesting. Oof. All right, successful vortex and locks integrated into pods. They probably want to be able to like teleport all over and then use time travel or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Location transfer remains long. Yeah, that's what they want in teleportation. All four subjects remain stable for 10 months. Monitoring shows minimal fluctuations. There's no degradation. Additional increase set. Vortex and electric key. Subjects have been reporting dreams that suggest some sort of extra spatial ability. Frequent mentions of events occurring outside the facility. Yeah, that sounds like a starborn ability. All right. What do we have here? Who are you, sir? Scientist. All right, expedition log two. And you are sure? We need the object itself. Yes, speaker. These vortex interlocks are complicated devices. We could recreate them from schematics we have recovered, but uh, that would take time. My brothers and sisters and I, we are bound to the pods. The pods are powered by the interlocks. Oh, wow. We move them and you kill us. Yes, I, I don't understand. want to do that. But you are sworn to serve. Oh, you know? fuck you, Inesco. We are, speaker. Poor thing. Then what better service than to facilitate contact with the great serpent himself? Your sacrifice will bring about a new era for House Baruch. The issue is you'd be let down if you ever met your god, right? Especially them, because the serpent's probably either the player or some other starborn. Or... We should have everything we need to upgrade the equipment at the Citadel. Okay, let's quick save and see if we can help these people out. Alright. Power is out. Copy that. Boop. 
All right, there are no signs. Is this the way I'm supposed to be going? Yeah, hard to say. Ooh, nice. Man, they have given me garbage in this playthrough. I found one weapon that was almost good, but then it fucking had the space adept on it, which is like the worst thing you can have. Garbage. You have the interlock speaker. And the sum total of the data gathered is on the slates in your possession. Well, then I have all I came for. It is time to leave. You, Phantom. One final order. What? They you. took his orders, but not mine. That's bullshit. Speaker. I know you do. My grandfather insisted this place remain secret. Known only to him. Known only to the speaker. No one else. Starborn is a lazy name considering we were already Dragonborn. Well, I, I kind of liked it. There was another game that was using Starborn. Like one of those like um, South Korean MMOs that came out recently. And the uh, the dialogue, they were saying something else. Like, I don't know, Sky something or Star or something else. But then in the subtitles, you saw that they were calling them Starborn. So I guess when Starfield came out, they had to change their name because you know Starfield came out before them. Uh, that was kind of funny. But I kind of like the connection between Dragonborn and Starborn. You know, because it's the same, you know, uh, IP. The name is too close. Yeah, but that's what I like is the connection between the two. And Starborn sounds cool. And it's kind of literally what they are. And then also we are Starborn, right? Like we, like all existence kind of comes from Star, well, not existence, but, you know, mass material, us, our planet, dust, everything. It's come from explody stars. So we came from stars and we will go back into them at some point, probably before, you know, the universe uh, dies in a cold blob. <laughs> I don't think the universe dies, though. I think that the Big Bang is like, you ever hear the theory of the Big Rip or the or the Big um, Contraction or whatever? To where, like, we can't see anything past the Big Bang, of course, you know, because how time works and light and everything. But I think the Big Bang, I think before the Big Bang, there was something else, another universe. And then I also think that there's probably a ton of universes out there. We're all connected through like bubbly stuffs. Yeah, that's my theory. Or else it's other people's theory that I listened to and thought was interesting and makes sense. Oh, you and your team have served well. I like the big rip. But your service to me is at an end. Now you shall serve the great serpent directly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, ba -dum -ba -dum. Per immediate order of Speaker Janan Varun, all managing personnel have been reassigned from this facility. A transitional team has been appointed to oversee the immediate secession of work at this site. No information or materials are to leave this facility under any circumstances. All current workers will be informed of their last day on site and will be searched to ensure no unauthorized information ex exits the facility. Test subjects have been directed by Varun himself to maintain watch over this facility. So he fucking imprisoned his people and turned them into like ghost security guards. Almost serve, I guess. What an asshole. Ah, place is a maze, I tell ya. Can I, like, save your lives? Is that something I can do? Open the door. Uh, of course I can't open the door. No, sing that song. <laughs> All right, you choose a song, we'll sing that song. Uh, how do I get over there? I forgot. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. They used to give me little arrows, but 
that's broken. Now I've got arrows. Alright, so we're going this way. We've been here before. Oh, I see. Open sesame. Don't forget, guys, when you build your own evil lair, make sure you do not install man-sized ventilation shafts. It's a do security issue. Weary of this? I, I kind of do. You, it will not end. Try to save your life, Kajira. All right, let's stop repeating this. There must be some arrangement we can make. How many times do I have to kill you? Let's make an arrangement, you and I. You want to go out on a date? Are you single and ready to mingle? Even if you were married, the guy's probably been dead for like a hundred years, give or take. You are the one with the power to change hmm. this. Either by turning around or dying. I choose this is turning neither. Into a most exhilarating exercise. I like this one. All this noise over one little trespasser. Let Aww. us be done with this already. You would think they'd be having fun. The experiment they've gotta be boring. Ensured our resilience. We endure because it has been ordered of us. No, you endure because of this How weird technology. Return to greatness begins with the work done here. And until that time comes, we will keep it safe. I'm not leaving without the tech. These vortex interlocks are what Inesco took with him. I need one. Uh... Your stubbornness will cost Countess lives in Dazra. Let me take what I need. Let's go with that one. I cannot. The speaker gave orders. He speaks for the great serpent. What about the Vindicator? The orders must Do I have followed. any power? Alright. <coughs> Starborn. Engage. Oh. Blacky, blacky. Don't get too close. Even I cannot handle my weapon. One shot and I am dead. <laughs> I'll be with you in one moment, sir or madam. Let the fireworks begin. I'm sure that was a great boss fight. Starborn OP. Alright, give me the thing. Warning. Power grid destabilized. Containment fields failing. Backup systems risk overload. Consider uh, yep. manual shutdown at the earliest convenience. I considered it. Whee! Quick save. Never know when we're gonna crash. Ooh, that's new. Alright, do we have options here? We've got... Retrieve Vortex Interlock. Retrieve Vortex Interlock. Alright, those are my only options. Copy that. Boop. We'll do that one and this one. And then we'll do a little bit of that. And then we're going to grab that... Is that a silicon booby? That looks like a silicon booby, Sid. It's like one of your favorite things. Silicon booby wow. retrieved. You are to fool! Do you have any idea what you have done? You should have told me. I'm learning as I go, but I believe I've severed the link to the vortex energy that makes you all invulnerable. <laughs> oh, you are so very clever. I leveled up intelligence, More yes. So than Anasco's entourage. They must Those not have leveled that up. Power our pods. You have killed Pedrasa. I would but have let you live. Are, you have disrupted the flow of power within the dam. You are one step from dooming those farmers on the surface. You don't all even care right. about all of the Varun. You have proven yourself a commendable opponent. But now, you have a choice to make. If you can remove the remaining interlock, you will have bested us. I hear they're very you good at, like, a, a stress ball. Of those above us. I was or listening to somebody on a podcast who had one of those stress balls. This contest of bills and see which of us is stronger. The mm -hmm. choice is yours. Uh, da, 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 da. I've never wanted to pull a plug so badly. 
Or you could just let me walk out. We don't have to keep doing this. But we do. My dedication to the Great Serpent demands my obedience to his speaker's orders. Your speaker was a bit of a douchebag, and you know that. <laughs> hey, get off me. Are you that bitch one-shot me. That's why we use the overpoweredness. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. Well, we have no choice with killing Vedra, right? So that's probably why they made her kind of douchey. Alright, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do this. Grab the silicone booby. Perfect. No! Oops. Oh, so she, she does appear and die. How cool is that? All right, special oh, projects. Wine, 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 wind, wind, wind. Uh, yes, yes, yes. If you can, or. Uh, da, 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 da. But we do. Engage superpower, because you have an overpowered fucking weapon. Thanks for the help, Andreja. That's not her fault, she's not starborn. What does that do? So I can exit the dam without killing them, huh? Yeah, but we need the thing, right? Power is out. Power is out. Okay. How do I turn the power on? Oh, now the door magically opens. Bullshit game. <laughs> I've already tried this. Warning. Critical power failure. Dam function compromised. Emergency evacuation protocols enacted. Please exit the facility. House Malin no. are many things, but rarely liars. I hope they have not made the situation worse. Rest in peace. Did they have anything of value? <laughs> Gotta love Andresia. She is a realist, no matter what. Alright, let's kick rocks, I guess. I really didn't want to kill him. I, it would have been way cooler if she didn't die, but... I mean, I guess we had the one item. We could have probably have kept the other one, or not gotten the second one. I don't know. Clearly, this was If I do this again, I'll try to uh, put now, more though, effort into saving their lives. I know there's probably a happier ending to that one. Oh man, if we killed that kid and his family, I'm gonna be pissed. But Andre just said that those people don't lie, so it's probably true. There's like a weird flickering with this purple stuff. Can you guys see that? Let me see if I can adjust something here. Ugh. Let's go with game adjust, adaptive sync, response time. Let's go with normal, see what that does. Nope, still blinking. Let's try faster. Still blinking. Let's do adaptive sync. Let's turn... If I turn this off, will that crash the stream? We're about to find out. Turn off. Oop. Yeah, it's adaptive sync. It causes that flickering. Okay. Ah, da, 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 da. Should be good now. Alright. Optional check on the villagers. Yes, I want to check on the villagers. Yeah, I think I was just getting flickering on my monitor because of adaptive sync. Something's been going on with adaptive sync and G sync. It's been causing a lot of problems in different games and I don't really need adaptive sync because this game doesn't run above, you know, 144 hertz. 
Are you okay? I like this place. That's nice. Finally felt a my whole life. Are you okay? Drowned. This farm is the only place I have ever known. Mm. Now I have nothing. All right, so we flooded the farm. That's all right. We'll fix Everything it. Everything we ever had. We'll fix it. We'll fix we... it. I do not understand. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What did we do to deserve this? Nothing. All right, we're not going to steal from you guys. All right, next playthrough we'll... uh. We'll just take one silicon booby. We won't take both, I guess. What's over there? Where's that little kid at? So I'm assuming the little kid is their kid? Seems like a bad idea to set up a farm here, but I guess all the... I guess the soil would be very nutrient-rich. And this dam's been down for a long time. I mean, they, they live next to surface uranium. That can't be healthy. I don't know if in the 24th century they uh, are not as affected by radiation. Subterranean farm, that sounds cool. Subterranean Malassar. What are you, pirate legend? Got pirates down here? That's weird. Hello, pirate legend. Crimson Fleet hanging out of a room. That's weird, man. Crimson, want that. Sneaky, sneaky. There they are. Hello, pirates. They even got their... Colors flying. They've been here for a while. Let him sleep that off. Ouch. That was very not nice of you. Oh, I'll be okay. <laughs> not worth it. I don't think you're gonna be okay, madam. Hello, Pirate Ledger. <laughs> Guess still alive, huh? I feel like fighting Crimson Fleet right now. Kind of bored of those guys. I was bored of them after my first playthrough. That was such a wasted thing. Pirates. They were like cartoon pirates. Like middle school pirates or something. So lame. go-kart is still stuck over there. Figured it would spawn back at the ship at some point. Ooh, what is that? That looks cool. Whee! Oh, those are artifacts. Ah! Eh. Eh. There we go. Whoop. What do we have there? Advanced room, skip pack. 
travel pack, travel pack. Nice. Oop, did not want to do that. Thank you. It's a very satisfying sound <coughs> effect. We also need to go to that orphanage. That's a side quest. Morning device, huh? So every time we advance the uh, main story, they uh, progress with this thing. All right, you. That was a very sad mission. The morning device may be our one and only chance to reach Anasco and save Dazra. Mm -hmm. I am old and my eyesight is not what it used to be, but I know the face of success. When you I live in the future, it. man. Get some Your cybernetic eye walls. Your Kef paid off. Hmm. Give interlock. An old lab produced something called the Vortex Interlocks. I have one and I hope it's helpful. Did you know there was a secret research facility underneath the dam? <sighs> I did not, but it does not surprise me. So many projects over the decades, so many secrets, so few successes. Don't they remind you of the Romulans? I have heard of such a They're thing. Like a cross Recently, between the Romulans fact, and a little bit accident. Klingon. That is apparently not a coincidence. We do not need it. For have I talked device. to you since season three if of Picard? For some of the leaps in progress, in Citadel, you may wish to hold on to it. As much as oh, I, I forgot to call you by your title, the Muddy One Vampire. Cannot deny that there is an occasional spark of that the divine. The Great Serpent has use for this, and you, still to come. If House mm -hmm. Fethol cooperates, we should have everything we need. And progress is always welcome, but we are not done yet. This device is rather imposing Ooh. looking. Give me a badass mm -hmm. weapon. Actually, it's not that badass at all. Could have been more badass. Hey, be careful not to point that thing at me. Check this. He mysterious. Okay. A little unsatisfying. We got one more house to deal with and then we can make some serious progress. So this I guess was their flagship during the uh Serpent's Crusade. And as far as I can tell, you can't even like paint your ship like them they have no original parts or anything i guess it makes sense that they just haven't put any r d into ship technology all their r d is going into the you know talking to their serpent god i have not seen my sister in days don't you worry sir we will fix it all right, where am I supposed to go? Nothing. I pray nothing has happened to her. Got some barracks. I keep forgetting to eat my grope pie. It's 30 minutes. This is what I call my Discord channel, The Keep. You gonna sell me stuff yet? Serpent. Well, look who it is. Dazra's very oh, own so guest of honor. About goddamn time. You must have friends in high places, as I have been authorized to trade with you. I have some impressive firepower on offer. Crazy eyes. You have my attention. Of course I do. Now, what are you buying? Rocket launcher stuff. Feel free to buy them all. No one else is using them. Good to hear. All right. Where is the... Whatchamuzit? 
this one right here. I can only buy 10. Ugh. Lame. That is so lame. What kind of weapons you got? She doesn't have any epic, legendary, nothing. It's all just whatever's. She has a bounty. She has bounty hunter spacesuits that they don't even have a rune. And it's not even the best one. Oh man, I was looking forward to this shot. You have depressed me, madam. You have depressed me. Hope you're happy with yourself. You know what? I should probably give that to uh, Teresia. What does that take? Heavy fuse. Be too expensive for me to run that thing. All right, let's do this. Good day, madam. Mm, Teresia ran away. Oh, no, nope, there she is. Is something amiss? I am always. All right, let's give you extended magma. Huh? All right, let's see if that works at all. Do you have heavy ammo? Yeah, we'll give her one in case she doesn't. Maybe particle fuse. Whoop, there you go. Your companions just need the one. And then... Da -da -da, da -da -da. But she doesn't seem to be very effective with that other one. She's not very good at leading the enemy. Do you have any credits for me, Andresia? It is hardly a present if you are asking for it, but <laughs> fine. Here. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Mm -hmm. Why are we Bye. getting married yet, man? We've been doing a lot of questing together. Get any lore Need for some me? some stopping power, huh? No. And thank the Great Serpent for that. Unlike them, I actually have chances to shoot my guns. What kind of supplier will I be if I do not test the merchandise? She's got a Spider-Man tattoo on her neck. How cool All is must that? Serve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, ooh, bathroom. Knocky, knocky. Is anybody home? Oh, boring stalls. Bum, 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 bum. Why waste precious time on yourself when it could be used in devotion to the Great Serpent? If the Grieved could focus on their devotion to the Great Serpent, Dazra would be well on its way to a restoration plan. Instead, they mourn for our lost brethren who have already been elevated to the This woman looks like somebody who was a rocker side. back in the 80s. They should and now be they've celebrating. grown into it something makes no else. Sense. An elder punk rocker, if you will. The High Council needs access to the power grid if we hope to restore the city. Your inability to provide a legitimate excuse for denying them will only last so long. Victoria is right. I know you're angry, but you can't let personal matters interfere with what may be best for everyone. What if I sit here? Personal matters? This is a Ministry of State matter, and I will handle it as I see fit. He Stop is it. a traitor. He turned his back not only on his family, but on our people's entire belief system. The fact that he still breathes is a stain upon the House Vethal name. You would doom us all with your pride. I will do as I please as head of this house. Okay, let's have a chat. If you are not a member of House Vethal, you do not belong here. Get fucked. I was sent by the High Council. Hello to you too. <laughs> Truly, you are a heretic with no regard for respect. Forgive my brother. He has been forgetting his manners of late. Victor, this is Anaskal's chosen. You recall Lovic sent word. I recall he spoke of a newly anointed promised. And we do not need help, especially from an outsider. You can't continue to refuse the council. You must act. Your inaction is killing you. Precisely, which is why he leaves me no choice but to say this. My nephew, Varric, has left. And until he returns, Victor refuses to assist the council. These are hardly matters for the ears of an outsider. 
All right, how are these connected? It sounds like a poor excuse not to help the High Council. These are vital matters that could save Dazra. Let's go with that one. And who are you to tell me what is vital and what the is not? The Vindicator of the Varun. You are an outsider. You have no understanding of our house. It's pretty two-dimensional, to be honest with you. I, th I think I had it figured out within, like, I don't know, first hour of the DLC. So, uh... Lose the attitude. I walk the path. I understand it. And let's go. Beep. Yes. Quite the conundrum, indeed. Is this not the opportunity you've been looking for, brother? A third party capable of finding Varric? Yes, you said so yourself. Someone with no loyalties to speak of. And if you he's know become that? promised, truly his arrival is more than coincidence. Serpent, give me strength. You both speak true. Perhaps I have reacted in haste. Tell me, Vindicator, are you well practiced in discretion? Oh, I'm really good at it. I like the file not found shit. Of course, I'm well practiced in a lot of things. Demand credits. <laughs> I don't even know what discretion is. I kind of want to pick that one. We're going to go with file not found. That probably has to do with stealth. Then perhaps you are more promising than I initially Get thought. Get fucked. I don't like you. As Vittoria mentioned, my son, Varric, has left. Don't care. Essentially, he has abandoned his post. And not only did he turn his back on his house, but the great serpent How as How do you well. know he didn't get fucking caught up he in the catastrophe? And must be dealt with as such. You Victor, don't know that. Surely you don't mean it. He does, Luther. Man, this guy's too stupid to run anything, much less a house. To cloud his judgment. What my brother is trying to say is that he wishes his own son dead. He's a bad First, dad. We lose Vashti to that malignant tearing through Dazra. And now you so willingly offer up Varric. As if our house has not suffered enough loss already. Grief can often cloud our judgment. Yeah, we'll go with that. This is not grief. This is betrayal. Mm -hmm. Not only to me, but to our society and the great serpent himself. Sounds like grief I to do me. not wish Vedic dead, but as head of the Ministry of State, he left me no choice. All must serve. Those who refuse will be met with death. Uh, how does Varric's death relate to power grid access? The same Vedic brought upon this house is immeasurable. It stains the very foundation. I will not act until this house is in order and so its members are properly me aligned with the your side great quest, serpent. Is what you're saying. So what you're saying is that this little side quest that means nothing to the the health of your nation. You're you're going to impede my progress, which could cause irreparable harm to everyone for this. And you don't even want me to save his life. I can kind of understand that. You don't want me to kill him. This guy's a scumbag on at least like three or four levels. Uh, da -da. Why haven't you dealt with this yourself, you lazy cunt? I will not have it known that I declared my own son a heretic and allowed him to escape our grasp. This knowledge weakens the Ministry of State's authority, something we cannot risk at this time. This is why my interest turned to a third party, someone outside of the noble houses. But we have yet to determine someone trusts. What if we can make our own house? That'd be cool. Until now. How starborn. Our duty as wardens is to keep the populace tasked and loyal. All must serve both the great serpent and the I love how they keep Varun. saying that. No exception. But then we have Those to serve them before they be serve the, the actual thing that matters. Corruption. Da, 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 da. You could make an exception. Exceptions show weakness, and we cannot afford to show weakness at a time like this. You show weakness asking a stranger to go find your son. For less. You act as if death is the only answer. What about forgiveness? I will not risk the ministry's authority on the actions of my own son, even if he is my chosen heir. If the High Council wants my cooperation, I need you to find Vedic and carry out his sentence. And I would ask you to spare him. My brother What I need to do is go to the impulse, council and get this house thrown out of her room. And then Speak confiscate all of their property 
and you all of the cool clothing it. that probably gives me persuasion Beric has a signet ring with house with and then i get to live here and then we will create to me as proof of house and drasia only something. then will i grant you <laughs> access to the power grid. get fucked i'm gonna see this is ridiculous this is ridiculous there is nothing ridiculous about our Super customs, ridiculous. and I suggest you would embrace them as one of the promised. The High Council wants my cooperation. This is how they get it. I recommend you start by speaking to patrons of the Herald's Rest. Some of Vedic's associates <sighs> there may know where he went, but keep in mind anyone who has directly aided him in hiding is an accomplice and shares his fate. I'll use my discretion when it comes. See to it, you do. Dude. All anyone needs to know You're is that you're looking for as much as the people on Paradiso. I will not risk He's the new Paradiso. Getting out before I can say the situation has been handled. Mm hmm. All right, let me get this out of the way real quick. All right. Yep, yep. Excuse me. Yep. Mm -hmm. Remember F5. Yes, yes, yes. Good one. Wrong button. How'd that feel? How'd that feel, Victor? Where you at, Victor? Mm -hmm. Hold it down, Andresia. I'm busy. That's a good ending. And that concludes the story of Vindicator Vankman, Starborn, level 168. Roll credits. Fade to black. That I would ask you to spare my nephew. What's oh. going on? Couldn't help myself. Excuse me, guys. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Satisfying. Satisfying. Yes, it's good. It's good. Okie dokie. Lords and ladies, I'm going to do a quick. We're not allowed to kill this guy and take what we need. The game has cuffed us. So we will move on. Hmm. The great serpents watch over you. <laughs> I wonder what the wardens are. I guess they're like detectives or are they soldiers? Because you got security and then you got wardens. They're probably like detectives or something. <laughs> See, I want to get a full set of this, but I want it to be badass. If you watch the uh, remake of S Lost in Space on Netflix, it looks a lot like that robot's... What do you want, brother? <laughs> oh! Oh, these guys still arguing? that no. was an unfortunate accident. I was foolish. <laughs> the duel hey, they made up. It should never have happened <laughs> to begin with. That's cool. Now that feels like a Bethesda the truth game. Is that a callback. When the duel was sabotaged, I had never felt so relieved in my life. I do not want to kill you, Amila. You robbed me of the chance to defend my family's honor. You are just as slimy as I mean. Are you trying to mock me? You were supposed to facilitate the duel, not <laughs> scuttle it. You could have continued you with the duel. You chose not to. That's to on you. The flames. There will be another duel soon enough. I, I was dare a fool. you. I double dog there you. The great serpent that you and Danica took action to stop me. I am ashamed. Yet somehow, there was one blessing. This guy's kind of all over of the place. Travesty. I apologize to Amila for challenging him. And he apologized to me. And I. Remain an utter dirtbag for the last me. 10 years? I feel hopeful for his future for the first time. 
in so many years. Uh, he's got to sober up. Get out of my sight. Get fucked. You. Bother someone else, would you? <laughs> what duel? You robbed us of the chance, and now I will never hear the end of it. And now you're both are sitting here breathing and loving each other. Kill. I was ready. You had no right to interfere like you did. I feel hopeful. <laughs> and I also feel that I owe you an <laughs> apology. These two conversations sound Danica was opposing right. to each the other. The duel was asinine, and we would have regretted it. My pride was hurt. But if I lost Borhol... <laughs> Enough of this sentimental growth shit. <laughs> Just thank you. Mm. <laughs> what do I was ready? I feel Danica was right. I I will I never do y'all's mission again. I deserved it all. You have shown me nothing. Bit pointless. Great Hello, I'm on a unnecessary side quest. Can you help me? <clears throat> no. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? Mm hmm You and me both. The worst thing that can possibly happen happens. And then he disappears. I mean, come on. We're supposed to be friends. Oh, good friend doesn't abandon someone in their time of need. What's the worst thing that could possibly happen? Okay, maybe it's not the worst thing, but look around you. It's almost post-apocalyptic, so... Second worst possible thing that could happen. Worst thing being if none of us survived at all. Hmm. Is there ever a good reason to abandon your friends? Yeah, it could be dead. You'd think Do you not B see all the glowing phantoms running around with uber with weapons? Me. But I'm suddenly too drunk to deal with. Not to bring up the demon spiders. Some friend she is. All she cares about is Varric. Maybe she's in love. You should be supporting one another. She. Uh, uh, da, da, da. Who's B? Huh? Oh, uh, uh, B's a friend. Or maybe it was a friend. Yeah. Me, B, and Varric makes three. Figured we were friends till the end. <laughs> oh, not you two. That's the last thing I need. I just want Varric to show up so things can get back to normal. Whatever that is. All right, let's use leadership. Pull yourself together and dig deep. He must have mentioned something. No, I can't. I... Tane. He mentioned talking to Tane one day about getting off-world. Seeing the settled mm, system. Maybe he did run away. We never thought he was serious, and even if he wasn't... Hmm... Tane still might know something. Where is Tane? Tane's a regular. I'm sure he'll be by any minute if you just want to take a seat. <sighs> Wait for Tane. Okay. Are you doing all right? Why would uh, I not be? I just... I worry about you at times. Stop. Just stop. Let me drink in peace. Go on. I am sorry. We shall enjoy the view. Oh, they don't let me go out the fucking... Oh, stupid impeg mish. Fine. All right, let's wait for an hour. See what happens. The great serpent Gritty, sir. So that hey, strong. aren't you that outsider made promise that showed up here recently? Mm hmm. Serpent, bless you. I've been shown the rightful path, he says sarcastically. Oh, wow. You really bought in, huh? <laughs> Not really, I'm an no. outsider myself. 
It's hard to get into the whole giant snake thing. I love your outfit. A heretic, then. And proud of it. I've been doting stuff back and forth for these people for years and still get the cold shoulder most places I go. But then these people lose half their city and you show up and suddenly it's divine intervention. He's got a tattoo for you, Sid. A lot of swirls. It's been interesting. It sure has, to say the least. Anyway, enough about that. What can I do you for? Oh, I'm looking for Varric. That's so? Well, I guess that depends, Vindicator. Who wants to know? His daddy. Oh, sure. You just show up out of the blue and suddenly want to know where to find House Vathal's number one son? Mm-hmm. And I know he wasn't lost to whatever ate up half of Dazra. Plenty of people have seen him since. Well, if you know that for Although, a fact, that means you're the one that helped him off let's planet. Let's just say after what went down here, my retirement's looking imminent. And I haven't exactly been saving up for a rainy day. So if you're feeling generous, maybe we can help each other out. Maybe. How about... I don't have that kind of money on me. Alright, so I hate it when they have options like this. The what I like to call the zero option option. Nice to see we operate on the same wavelength. I'm pretty sure he's heading into the highlands. Mm. Just not sure where. But I do have the means to track him. So you just say the word and we're off to the races. Dun 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 track you're coming with me. Yep. When it comes to my stuff, it's like a package deal. I'm not just going to hand off valuable tech to some stranger. I work alone, hand it over. Oh, no. I'm stuck on you until this is over. Let's just say I have an investment to look after. Once we're outside of Dazra, I'll fire up my tracker and fingers crossed. Well, he's probably promised right money just head out the West from Vectra to get him off planet. Route. So he'll probably try to kill us. Who knows? We'll see. All right. Let's head to the next... Mm, search northwest of Dazra for a Alright, so we gotta... Okay. This is an escort quest. Copy that. We'll get right on that. Oop. What the hell is that? I need to switch out my weapon, actually. I don't think it's worth it. Let's head home for a sec. Taking off immediately, right. or are Let's there other matters that... Okay, that's all garbage. That's cool. So the Vortex Ichor gives us void form for three minutes and negative 50% movement noise. That's so cool. We'll have to use that. Weighs a pound, though. Hey, we can finally get this crap out of our inventory. Glorious. Have to go visit the guy with dementia again, see how he's doing. Uh. 
require your attention. There seems to be a path. Up. We should follow it. Will do, madam. We... Scary, very scary. Here they come. Ouch. What the fuck? Get off me, Tane. That hurt, Raster. Did you just kill Tane? That's funny. Watch your head. This uh, <laughs> might be it. So now Andreja will just sit here and destroy him over and over again. That's funny. This happens all the time. Have you calmed down yet? Better stay calm and Dreja will F you up, sir. Oh yeah, we need that one. Let's go do that one. Alright, the little prince can wait. We've got praying to do. Did they say a brass tart? Possibly. The, go to the videotape for that. Okay, boop, boom, 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 limo, schmecka, schmecka. That is fine. Man, it's a lot of blood over here. How many pilgrims have you killed, Mr. Redeem? Get over here so I can destroy you. First, let us pray. All right, perseverance from the Shrine of Redemption. Our journey brings us here to read these words and remember the great serpent's teachings. The path of righteousness is one of hardship, toil, and sacrifice. Sounds like a shitty religion. The path of righteousness is one of hardship. In the face of adversity, we must not falter. Only one, or wait, only with unshakable determination will be found worthy. Yeah. Let's see what kind of bonus that give us. Oxygen. Jump height. Oof, we're going to jump really high now. We already jump really high because we have acrobatics. Wee! Yeah, probably break our ankle. Yeah, let's see. Credits. That. Let's go help Andreja out. And this guy. My arm! My arm! My arm! We shall sing the dirge of your body! You dare strike one of the promised? Eh, that's the problem with this weapon. I don't want to kill you guys, so I'm going to disperse. What is that? Found it. Let's take a quick nap. Maybe they'll calm down now. <sighs> All right, Varric's camp log two. 
As expected, I didn't sleep well last night. At least this morning I can turn my camp. I think I want to do next. Planning ahead certainly paid off. I've been slowly building up this area ever since Tane and I first discussed plans to get me off of Arunkai. Figured I'd need a safe place if I had to leave unexpectedly and lay low. I have the tracking device he gave me, so I can only hope he puts two and two together. In the meantime, I'm hoping to distract my mind <clears throat> by organizing my new temporary home here. Who knows how long before Tane finds me. Yeah. I kind of sold you out for a thousand credits, man. That's not a lot. Alright, part one. I've done it. I've left. My father is furious. I've never seen him so angry. I always figured he knew this day was coming. How do you know how he reacted if you weren't there? Perhaps just delusional. Uh -huh. Did I act too quickly? What about Victoria and Luther? What about Eggy and B? What will be my mind? You gotta live your own life, brother. Engineering. This is the tracking device that Tane gave Varric. Tane turned off the ping when you arrived. If Varric left the tracker here, he left in a hurry. It's useless now, but you salvaged some materials. It's the first time that's ever happened. That's cool. Alright, what else do we have? Deck of cards. Did you pick blood stains, huh? Okay. Let us track the blood stain. Kind of hard to track the blood stain because it is the same color as everything else around it. Probably need to talk to you, right? Vic's been busy if he got this much done. Uh, friends a strong word. More like friendly acquaintances. <laughs> Guess we both felt the Herald's Rest was one of the few places that made us feel like real people. Couple of drinks and everyone's your friend in that moment. I've only had a few run-ins with Victor for security purposes, and he's all in. The man embodies House Bethal. He could probably recite Janan's teachings word for word, and he runs the Ministry of State without missing a beat. Strict, demanding, and always watching. The guy's good at his job, but when it comes to personality, I couldn't tell you. Whoever he is, he keeps it close to the chest. Well, I know he puts his pride before the livelihood of his entire culture. Can't think of anything about person. Uh, let's get, uh, let's go back a bit. Sure thing. Always up for a chat. He's just used to getting his way and the world revolving around him. When you're raised to be elder, that's bound to bring you all sorts of extra attention. So sometimes when hanging around with us peons. Hey, whatever. All right. Garbage weapon. Prints are sporadic, but the tread tells you they're only from one person. The final prints head west. Varric must have fled the camp after attempting to put up a small fight. 
Alright, we're heading west. What is this? Vortex spawn. Finally, somebody gets attacked by these things except for us. Alright, so we got attacked by them things, probably. Hello! What the hell is that? That is a vortex spawn. Nope. Kill it. Go ahead. Take a shot. Whoa! What the hell? Something just one shot the hell out of me. I guess they spew some kind of goo. <laughs> Everything's a one shot in the DLC. Quite annoying. All right, luckily we took a nap. Let's grab that. Let's find the blood stains. Uh, did I find the other thing over here? Do, 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 that thing. Let's find that. Let's do the footprints and let's F5. Boop. Mm -hmm. And then we get just gotta wait for the other guy to show up, I guess. Let's mm -hmm. take another nap. All right. There's got to be something here to clue us in as to where he went. Yeah, I agree. Thought we already did that, but I guess we have to do it again. Oh yeah, that thing. There we go. Whee! Run away, run away. What the hell is that? <laughs> eh, bro. I seem weirder. Yeah. Hey, those things don't mess around. I had the wrong superpower engaged. We are playing on the hardest difficulty though, so there's that. Chill out. Still in one piece. You're the one standing in my area of effect. Uh, uh, need. Are you calm down now? A medic. Uh, I just healed you. I could have done without that. Mm -hmm. All my years and all the planets I've been on. Never going to get used to those things. Yeah, they're pretty gross. At least they aren't as common as the phantoms. You got that right. Damn House Baron. Wiping out half their city and bringing in whores like these. At least I don't see a body around here, so I hope that means Varric's alive. To the west. You find anything? Injured. Hope he doesn't bleed out by the time we find him. Well, mm. what's next? Varric must have fled in a hurry since his tracker's still here. So guess the rest is up to us. Sounds like a plan. And hopefully that injury slows him down enough for us to catch up. Let's head back down and see what we can find. And by we, I mean you. <laughs> All right, where are we heading? Mm, this way. Let's go that way. Whee! <laughs> bum, 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 bum. All right, we made it. Uh, Zavrix notes. All right, the temperature fluctuates greatly out here. Nothing that will hurt me, but finding comfort is impossible. Tired, hungry, miss family. Yep, yep. So he's just like the boy that ran away from home. <laughs> I got you. Determine which way Eric went. Copy that. Beep. Northwest. What is that? Ooh, that was cool. Freaky, freaky. I 
would like to scan the entirety of this planet. Hello, phantoms. We've got Kid Groves. We've got Light Utility Robot. Are you gonna attack me, Light Utility Robot? Oops, sorry about that. Interference with caregiving tasks will not be tolerated. Get over that. I'll leave you and your groats all alone. <laughs> Greetings. That's far enough, strangers. You want to tell me what you're doing on my property uninvited? You smell like a zealot. Are you a zealot? We're looking for Varric Bethal on behalf of those guys. I am Vindicator Vankman. We're looking for Varric. Well, you won't find him here. This isn't exactly the type of place where house members frequent. I can understand that, but I can't help you. The only people here are my partner Zen and our daughter Mila. No one comes around here. We are isolated, and that's the way we like it. In the future, most every couple with kids are gay. I don't know why that is, but that's the way it is. All right, his injuries may need special treatment. <sighs> All right, fine. Irina, are you sure you know what you're doing? Zen. Yes, I know quite well. Never mind my partner. They're just overly cautious. Mm -hmm. As I said before, this I've never you about seen your pronouns. at all. We keep to ourselves. There's no reason for a path to cross. But we did aid an injured young man a few days ago. Yeah, I agree. That's got to be very dollar cloning. It's too coincidental. Saves on medical costs. It must have been him. We didn't know and didn't ask. Mm -hmm. We introduced ourselves and he quickly changed the subject. But he was polite and something about him reminded me of our own son. So I didn't feel the need to push him. We sent him north. There's a long abandoned growth farm we felt he could make use of. So he's bleeding all over the place. He claimed he lost He runs across some nice family incident and he doesn't think to take a break and get some he first aid. He wanted to start a new life. Mm -hmm. We even gave him two of our own growths to get started. It's a hell of a gift. All right, thank you for your help. So you, we can kill them for aiding a traitor, travels. but we're not going to do that. If you find him, give him our regards. We'll do... What's your name? I hope Beric found the place adequate. That's such a weird thing. Alright. They did change some of the kids up for the DLC. They don't all look like Korno. Which is a bit of a bonus, I guess. The weirdest thing is in the main quest line, there's like two kids. You know, you got Cora, which is, of course, Sam's daughter. And then you go and you rescue another kid who's been marooned on a planet since she's been born. They look like literal twins. You would think if you're going to have a different looking kid, it would have been those two. It's the dumbest thing. Hello, robot. I'm looking for a runaway. I 
nearby humans. Will do, sir. Will do. Thought this was an abandoned grid farm. Bam, 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 bam. Mm -hmm. Well, these are his two groats. We've got Bella and we've got Boris. <laughs> Those are great names. Sounds like something I would name my groats. Do, 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 do. Search the dwelling. Okay. Got a succulent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Data pad. All right, first entry, first day of my new life. So he was just going to go be a grove farmer. Right on. I suppose I'm a grove farmer now. <laughs> Long way from heir apparent. Wait a minute. So he got injured. He bled enough that we could track him. And then within that short amount of time, he just comes here and becomes a growth farmer. All right, Tane never came, so Tane abandoned him. Had to flee when the Vortex horrors found me. Yeah, yeah. Some kind of farmers took me in. They're called lesbians, sir. They're respectful of my privacy. Should my father? Okay, yeah. No. All right, so yeah. Oop, didn't want to hit that. I thought he wanted. To, I thought the whole point of this was to get off planet. <laughs> But I guess that was Tane was supposed to do that for him, and Tane never came, so. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go upstairs. Yeah, perfect sense. 100% logical. Alright, let's buy that, that, and that. Got some garbage. Uh, Take me in when you're done in there. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. You want to speak in private first. Found him yet? You could help if you'd want. Nope, found the bedroom. That's a cool weapon. Oh, a space adept. The two coolest weapons we found, and they both had space adept on them. Fuck you, game. I need a mod that lets me remove them damn things. Add my own. I have a mod that lets me do my own, but... I don't know. Alright, Varric's computer. Log entry two. Alright, he fed the groats. He named the female Bella. Took a camera repairs. Mm -hmm. If I ever hear news of Dazer turning into normal, perhaps I'll initiate contact with Tane again. So I guess the catastrophe kind of like blew up his plans. Yeah, she's been my voice of reason. Now I'm down to hear her voice. Sister. Alright. Model A's are up and running and it should be a good day, but once again I find myself riddled with guilt over what I've done. I keep replaying that last moment with my father over in my head. It's not even his words, it's the look of betrayal on his face. He responded with anger, but the blow I struck was deep. 
I told him I couldn't stand by and watch them destroy themselves, but I rejected everything he stands for. House for Thal, House for Rune, and the Great Serpent. And, of course, I knew full well what my actions would require him to do as head of the Ministry of State. I realize now that the position of conflict I put him in, the question remains whether he can let me go or if I'll one day wake up to the Thal Wardens at my door. Not the Wardens, but Vindicator. Do, 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 do. All right. Alright, let's go. I am tired of your saves. We'll talk to you. Nothing going on out here. How about you? Find anything? Mm. Sounds like it's a waiting game then. It seems I have uninvited guests. Am I gonna you dislike you as much as I dislike yourselves? your dad? Whoa, 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 hey, it's me. Dang. Put the gun down already. It's not you I'm concerned about. It's your friend. Yeah, be worried about the Starborn, too. I am Vindicator Vankman. I wish I could say I was pleased to meet you, but something tells me this isn't a social call. Please, if you're here on my father's I orders, find your tattoo distracting. Allow me to plead my case. Was that your goal? Uh, da -da, of course. I'd like to know your side of the story. All right, say your piece. You may speak, but know that I will not be swayed. <sighs> I'm glad someone does for once. I am not sure how familiar you are with our culture, but all I've ever wanted was the right to choose. Mm -hmm. I was born House Vithal. I was raised to inherit the role of Elder, to run the Ministry of State, to worship the Great Serpent. But I want none of it. Alright, there's always a choice. Born privileged, but don't want the responsibility. Boohoo. That's not the life I'd want either, to be honest with you. That's not the life anyone wants. It's never mattered how much I tried to reason with him. My father simply would not let me go. His pride and the fear of what it would mean for House Vithal. So get off planet. He cares about. Tane's right behind me. Let's move this along. Matters not what you want. We do. Nope. Fuck that. Abandoning your role would bring great shame. Parents trying to run your life. I get it. As a parent, he should support you. What does your leaving mean for House Vithal? Shame, yeah. embarrassment. Let's just fake Fuel your death, man. Other houses to ridicule my you got father. eaten by a monster trying to save an orphan any girl. Death for him, but he left me no choice. If he would have listened just once, maybe I could have left on good terms with my father's blessing. Mm -hmm. Control the narrative, as they like to say. All right. Then you understand. All I want is to make my own life. Something Tane understood and was willing to help me with. The credits help too, but yeah. <laughs> Guess you got the whole scoop now. Your buddy did sell you out for a thousand credits, I want you to know. All this time you're continuing to aid the trader. That explains the tracker. Yeah. I needed a way to find him once he got outside the city. I lost my ship to the incident, so I didn't want Barrick running off thinking I could just what are you, grab a politician him and go. calling it the incident. I was also out all the credits he was going to pay me. I don't think That's a smuggler would uh, say that. Why not two for the price of one? So, now you know my true intentions for We've leaving. We've known since, like, and given the, circumstances, the first thing we found. I may be here for some time. Get on a ship. I hope now is to make the best of it here. All right. 
No, you need to return it. Eh, first, tell me why you chose to leave. Eh, we already know you turned your back. Mm -hmm. So you slipped out while everyone was distracted by the incident. It seems opportunistic. I know. The truth <laughs> is, the scaled citadel yes, was yes, the last straw. Yes, yes, we know your, your choices. My people are so blinded by faith and politics, they don't see how it's destroying us. He sounds like he could be a companion. Eliminated half he wants his freedom and to get off planet. Of sounds like he'll join your crew. My sister Vashti among them. I could no longer live in a society Dude. that won't put its Don't cry in front of me. That would destroy We've dealt with universe-ending issues. Nothing for us. Such heresy. I like how you can be like an uber-fucking-convert. I never understood religion, especially at extreme levels like this. <laughs> I understand that some people need faith as guidance. Mm, yeah, they do. And it's usually the people that have... I hope you can see a giant gap in their morality. That's why they need their religion to, to fill that gap. Life, I ask that you give me that chance. All right, you're free to go, but I would ask for something in return. Uh, let's make him return home and see if we can fix it from there. No, I can't go back. I want nothing to do with that life. You're up against the silveriest tongue devil this side of New Atlantis. All right, let's try this one. It's not that I want to let anyone down. Let's try this one. It will be what? fine. That one failed. Fuck you, game. My family is strong. I like how they don't give me any of my diplomacy. We all know there is. All right. As I said, whatever. I don't care. All right, you're free to go. Anything. Name it. Uh, your signet ring. Victor wants it as proof of death. My ring? Vashti gave it to me. It's all I have left of her since the cataclysm. The disaster took every physical reminder of her except for this. You know, it's a good reminder is memories Just themselves. Her from existence. You should have taken a picture. Ah, uh, your sister would want you to live. True. It's as if she's looking out for <laughs> No. It's like last time. It's literal life and death. Not to mention we've got I'll bigger issues. The the, they're taking up the really time of the guy who's trying family. to like solve the biggest issue. And now I hope we are done here. And he's worried about a signet Thank ring. You for seeing reason. I owe you both it's my like life. You've got data pads. Food. I'm sure you got selfies. Now that's over with. I'm going to hang back here. Talk to Varric a bit. Don't care. Besides, I don't want to be around when you break the news to Victor. Mm -hmm. Do me a favor and find me at the Herald's Rest when you're done. I'll get right on that. Maybe he'll be a companion. Maybe both these guys will be a companion. Who knows? All right. What is that? That's cool looking. Oh, yeah. All right. We're going to quick travel this one. Whoop. Apostate's Refuge. Jerk's Rest. Oh, yeah. We got some cool stuff to explore. Nice, nice. Yeah, I wouldn't want them hanging around. They don't seem that interesting to me. Mm, being attacked. Hey, get off me. Eh, probably got a bounty for some of that bullshit that was happening with the peasants or whatever. Or pilgrims, I should say. Yeah, I don't even think there is a way to do a bounty thing here. Do I have a bounty on this planet? Yeah, I've got a 15,650 bounty. That is crazy. That ain't do anything. I'm innocent, I tell you. Dun, 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 dun. Oop, we're in trouble now, boys and girls. Mm The Varun have betrayed us. We will execute everyone now. 
this planet is null and void. I don't think the game's gonna give us that option. How's it going, Vasco? Can you take care of this army of room behind me, please? Bullshit game. They really need to fix that friendly fire shit. It's garbage. If I like directly hit Did them, maybe, but. Something? Hey, how's it going, sir? How have you been? You've been enjoying your time on Varun Kai? Right with you? Not really. I'm fine. Shouldn't I be? There is so much responsibility being in charge of constellation. Strats, retract it. Let's get out of here. Well, we have to fly home and pay off this bullshit bounty. Oh, Trumped up charges. Well, it's the thought that counts, isn't it? Apogee kick. First playthrough, hello. <laughs> All right, let's do the thing. Whoa, man, we're dropping really high now. <laughs> like, you, you can jump too high if you level it up. When you get bonuses and stuff. Uh, I can't pay off my bounty here, huh? Seems like a bit of an oversight. Where the hell am I supposed to pay off bounties in? Trap of Centauri. Dun, 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 dun. This doesn't work. I think what we'll have to do is just like sleep for a very long time and reset or something. But the bounty, I don't think, goes away. That would work for, like, weird aggression, but I don't know if it'll work for a bounty. Oof, oh, laggy. It kind of smoothed that into Atlantis, but now it's back to being laggy. Alright, so we need to have... Maybe we have to build another outpost in Varun space or something, I don't know. Alright, let's go to Varun Kai. Let's go to this. Actually, let's build one near Varun Kai. Let's go there. Land. Hey, that's the picture I took of the uh, octopus vagina. <laughs> I haven't seen that picture in a very long time. <laughs> Not safe for work. All right, quit shooting me. Jesus Christ, man, their weapons are bullshit, I tell you. All right, we're going to have to go make an outpost and hopefully the bounty kiosk will work there. All right, let's just see what is that? Iridium, uranium, sure, that sounds good. Rocky desert, uranium, uranium, rocky desert, rocky desert, rocky desert. We'll do it right on the border. Land there. <sighs> Good to go for landing. See, I told you. Octopus vagina. Hashtag, don't put your dick in that. Alright. Alright, got iridium and water. There, that's a good one. Alright, so we'll just put that right there. Uh, bullshit outpost one. 
Why is that not working? Low standards, try low. Oh, that almost worked. Flip that around there ish. About right there. And boom. Alright, does this work? Fuck you, man. Scan booster. So, yeah, let's try this one. Maybe this one will work. I don't know. <laughs> Boom. Put you right there. Well, we obviously have a bounty. Okay. This is lovely. Let's build a little outposty area. I like these ones because they're fun. Boop, 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 boop. I'll build that over, I don't know, here somewhere. This looks pretty. Boop. And let's put an iron lock on that. Boop. Incorrect. Boop. Got hit twice. Alright, put that over here, please. Uh, nope, right about eh, there. Maybe we'll make this our love shack area. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We need a sexy bed. Sexy bed. There's good enough for me. Alright, let's sleep. See, so one hour. Oh, okay. This is a bad place to do this. But right, we'll have to. I'll just go to Venus or something. That seems like a bug, though, that we can't clear the bounty. Because I don't think I've even seen a bounty clearing thing in uh, Varun Kai. Plus, normally. To clear a bounty in a territory, you have to go to another territory and use their bounty clearing thing. Yeah, so I always had an outpost in like the two different factions. And then if you had bounties in both factions, you had to uh, trade, you know, go to one to clear the other and then vice versa. Rather annoying. You know what? I could also build a damn bounty thing in my ship now. Because you didn't used to be able to build on inside of your ship. Now you can. So we'll try that as well, maybe. Let's try this one more time. Lies. Need zero wire. All right, let's get some zero wire. Yes, zero wire. All right, we will put you right there. Yep. All 
All right, let's get a base and see if that'll do it. It's a very pretty planet, though. Retro's firing. Orbit stabilized. Ooh, what is that? Oh yeah, the Oracle. Dude, I just want to get up. I want to get up. Let me up. That's so annoying. There we go. Now we should be able to get up, right? Nice. Well, this is proper Bort. Let's take a nap. All 